On the 1st of July, Josh immediately kicked off the month by posting on Facebook that he was refused service at the Albertsons grocery store on CY Avenue in Casper. Josh removed the Facebook post after he was called a Karen in the comments section. Trolls began leaving negative reviews in hopes to get Josh in trouble. On July 3rd, Josh posted a video to prove that he was at his family reunion and not in Casper. You know, I'm not gonna get hammered like I normally do. You know, I'm actually trying to cut down on my drinking so I can live a little longer, but anyways, <laughs> you said. It was revealed that Josh and his family were staying at an Airbnb in Swan Valley, Idaho. That same day, Josh celebrated his family reunion by spamming his YouTube with 25 joke videos. Later on that night, Josh posted a sexy picture of himself and clarified that the motorcycle and clock tower he took pictures of weren't his. Over the 4th of July weekend, Josh uploaded new merchandise to his customised girl storefront. Josh also kept up the tradition of playing the Star Spangled Banner by uploading a video of himself wishing America a happy birthday. Later on, Josh addressed his trolls calling him an alcoholic. We would later learn that Josh's grandfather even made a comment about Josh's drinking. Happy, uh, happy birthday America, cheers folks. Oh no, Cobra's drinking a beer. A 31 year old adult waiting till after 5 o'clock and only having four. So his family doesn't think he's an alcoholic, oh jeez, being responsible with it. Oh, and on top of that, I offered to buy some, but they bought it for me. My trolls are so jealous, it's sad dude. It's beyond sad. My trolls have a bigger addiction to me than I do to alcohol. And to be honest, that's a pretty sick burn. But I'm not an alcoholic, dude. People want to accuse me of that, but I actually have control over how much and when and how, you know. So, you know why I don't let the you know why I don't let the trolls get to me because there are bigger problems in our freaking world. You know, it's the truth. On the 5th of July, Josh made a short video saying that he was heading back home. Ooh, shout out to the Saunders family, that's what's up, that was a really awesome reunion now. Back to the Cobra Lair. <laughs> and then another short video announcing he arrived back home at his apartment safely. Guess you made it back home safely. <laughs> Later on, Josh was very drunk and failed another food challenge. Honestly, I know I'm not gonna be able to complete it, but I wanna have some of it. This is my supper. All the trolls are gonna harass Home Search Bar and Grill and be like, a cobra's a pussy, he couldn't complete it. Home Search Bar and Grill's gonna be like, we don't care, that's free advertisement for our food. Fuck the trolls. On July 8th, Josh finally came clean and admitted that Warlord Alex Campbell pisses him off and said that he tried to mooch alcohol off him the other day. I get so much crap for hanging out with uh, Alex Campbell, and he does shit that annoys the fuck out of me sometimes. And it's like, sometimes it's just like he's too much, and he needs to just stop hanging out with me for a bit, you know? And it's nothing personal against him, but when Alex Campbell comes over and says, Hey man, you got any booze? I'm like, I got a little bit. Well, can you drink with me, man? I'm having a bad day, or whatever, you know? He didn't have to say... I'm a generous guy, as long as you're of age, you're old enough, I'll drink with you, dude. You know, I'm not gonna, yeah. But when you get so fucking drunk, you forget who King Cobra is, and then you start calling yourself that. When the dude, King Cobra right here, you know. And I'm not trying to crap on the dude, but like, bro, really? You got so fucking drunk. You started calling yourself the real King Cobra and saying that I need to take your advice. And I'm like, okay, you're a little drunk and you clearly forgot that your friend King Cobra is the one that provided the alcohol. So you feel this amazingly fucked up, but okay. And, uh, like, as soon as I told Alex Campbell I said I was out of booze, he took off. I, of course, lied to see how he would act. If he wouldn't, you know, and I didn't expect him to say, hey, thanks for drinking with me kind of thing, whatever. That's why I get iffy with drinking with anyone anymore, you know? Like, I don't mind drinking with people and having a good time, but, like... 
when they start acting a certain way, I'm just like, I don't need that in my life. And then, of course, Alex texted me. He goes, he woke up at his father-in-law's, passed out on the couch with the biggest hangover. And he doesn't even remember what the fuck he did. And I'm like, oh, let me tell you. I don't care if Alex is gay or bisexual or what the fuck ever. As long as he ain't a sick fuck and as long as he doesn't try anything with, you know, then I don't care. Like, I try to be a straight guy who supports LGBTQ plus rights. I try to be tolerant even when I got gay dudes hitting on me and I'm just like, mm-mm, no. On July 9th, Josh said that he'd be debuting a new Halloween costume and would not be going out as the much beloved Green Phantom. Like what the hell is Cobra going to be for Halloween? A Wild West Warlock. And I ordered a uh, cap gun that you'd use for like plays and stuff. It does not shoot blanks. It has these dummy cartridges that you stick in there with like a little cap dot that you stick in the back of the cartridge and it makes a popping noise. It's nerdy as shit, but I'm a Wild West buff and I ordered a holster to go with it. The fans sent me a really cool cowboy hat. You know, the, the uh, it's, a, it's a legit adult <clears throat> cap gun and I know it's super nerdy, but like people, it's not even real. It's a so then when people see it, they're like, oh my god, you know, it's like, calm down, it's just a prop. On July 12th, Josh received over $150 in donations from his fans and mentioned that Richie Wright was trying to get a hold of Josh after Josh called Richie the Chomo Master in reference to him being friends with alleged Chimo, Mr. Landon. Right there, that's what's up. There's my cash app, King Cobra 666-420. I don't care if it looks like a kid drew it, to be honest. That's cool how I'm able to customize it. Cobra cult, motherfuckers. Ah, yeah, fuck sickos, dude. Apparently, Richie Wright's been trying to contact my ass because he's not happy about me calling him the Chomo Master, but it's like, dude, you know, you're still associating with Mr. Lantern right after he posted child pornography in your Discord. That should have been a big, big fucking sign. You'd be like, nope. I fucking hate sickos more than I love cobras, like get fucking bent trolls. To end the night, Josh did a controversial live stream and spoke in depth about doing cocaine. You now if I was at a Hollywood party, if I was at a fucking Hollywood party with Elton John and a bunch of really cool people and they were just like, hey cobra, you wanna do a line of coke? I'm like, I'm already there in my shot shows. I've tried it before like once or twice and it's not bad, to be honest. It's not something I'd make a habit out of, you know? To be truthful with you, because cocaine is so expensive and it can be so habit-forming, so it's just like, nah. Because I've seen what people look like when they're addicted to crack, and it's just like, eh, dude, I'm good on that. Not trying to be a dick, but you want to give me shit for experimenting with drugs and alcohol, but at least I'm not a pedophile-supporting piece of shit like Richie Wright. Oh, fucking Cobra. Shh. Ooh, watch that nail right there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Coke nail. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, like, I, I, I like doing cocaine and drinking alcohol and smoking weed and being your typical rock star, bad boy, whatever. But I don't want it to control my life. And you can YouTube poop it all you want. I don't care. My trolls are losers and no one takes them seriously. Josh also spoke about his vacation on the 4th of July and his grandparents being fully aware that Josh has a drinking problem. No, when my granddad Al and my dad bought alcohol for the family reunion. I off I offered to buy some because I had like two hundred dollars in my PayPal at the at the time. And they were just like, nah, we got it. Don't worry about it. And then it was something my granddad Al said that if we don't have enough alcohol to make this last for like three to four days then there's a problem. And then he kind of just looked at me like, uh, 
My grandson's King Cobra JFS. Oh, jeez. And that was kind of my wake-up call when my grandparents are going, hey, we drink alcohol too, but, like, you drink this much, and then, you know, I would wait till 5 o'clock to have a beer. And then even after I had one, I wouldn't have more than four just to show my family that, hey, you know what, you're a... Joshua is not an alcoholic. He can actually maintain his shit. Josh predicted his trolls would edit the live stream, so he deleted it. Thankfully, Lenin Lime archived the live stream. The next day on July 13th, Josh said that he deleted his last live stream because he went off topic and claimed that he does not do cocaine anymore. Josh also puked into his trash can. So last night's stream I deleted because I got off topic. But I'm sure someone saved it, so like it matters. Um, for starters, I don't really do cocaine anymore because it's too expensive and I don't want it to be a habit. Because these days, you don't know what the fuck they're lacing that shit with, man. You know, so that's why I just stick to like weed and alcohol. The conversation seemed to revolve around a brief argument <laughs> that I had with J.K. Rowling on Sunday. Because, of course, the first thing that I do when I'm arrested is I, I pick a fight with a random... <laughs> All the way to uh, ancient history, which was last Tuesday, controversially suggesting no trouble answering at all. Not there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. the dictionary is quite straightforward. It's just that a human and that she, as a woman, doesn't actually... Like, I randomly had a moment of puking, and I was just like, oh, that was weird. Mm. On July 13th, Josh posted on Facebook a picture of his Cash App card. At 2 a.m. on July 15th, Josh posted on Facebook that his trolls are more miserable than he is. In the early mornings of July 16th, Josh changed his Facebook profile picture. On July 18th, Josh created a copy of his female empowerment t-shirt to be sold on his customised girl storefront. Later on, Scrapper Steve did a rare livestream and said he'd be coming back to Casper, Wyoming soon. Yes, I am going back to Wyoming once I get a chance. So. Uh... Living in my van is not going to be like a long term thing, it's going to be temporary. On July 21st, Josh got sent a new pipe and posted a picture of it on Facebook. On July 23rd, Wings of Redemption reacted to Josh's classic video, Deep Farted Avocados. Cooking with Cobra, Deep Fried Avocados. If I make fun of King Cobra at all, don't know the dude. Strictly designed to be entertaining for my personal stream. I have, it's in no way, shape, designed to harass or put anybody out. Holy, what the fuck already? What is that? What? <laughs> this made it in the video. Does he cook the whole avocados with his motherfucking guys? Not just chilling, son. What do you keep wiping your face for and you keep missing the snot? I bet his fucking breath will burn your eyes. Sauce. Why do you guys make me watch the videos? <laughs> in late July, Josh uploaded a new hoodie onto his customized girl storefront. On July 30th, Josh reused a picture of himself with his shotgun in a new shirt for his customized girl storefront. On July 31st, Josh said that his new comedy album will be released by Deathbed Tapes on August 12th. August 12th, the comedy album drops. You're gonna have parody songs and like, the second tape's gonna be nothing but me doing my stand-up routine. Now, if your sides end up hurting from laughing at it too hard, I uh, do not apologize for that. <laughs> Later on, Josh added a new content type to his repertoire, recording his farts. For the month of July, Josh uploaded the most videos so far this year, with 151. Sadly, Josh only streamed 10 times and 7 of which were video responses. Josh also increased the output of his shorter videos and half of the videos uploaded in July were 63 joke videos and 38 donation shoutout videos. Just going by Josh's shoutout videos, Josh made over $900 this month. This does not include anyone that donated and not had Josh say the exact amount they donated. On August 2nd, Josh sold two lathed wands after a three-month dry spell. Josh last sold wands on April 27th. 
Later on, Josh posted on Angie's Facebook wall after learning that her dog Bella had passed away. The next day, Josh said that he had a rough couple of days. This may be a reference to Angie's dog. We're having a rough couple of days, but I'm hanging in there and I appreciate all the awesome support from my fans. Around midnight on August 4th, Josh uploaded 10 videos in a row of him recording his farts. On August 6th, Josh's new comedy album was leaked online by Gothic Farting Channel. Josh ended up commenting the following on the video. Everyone talking shit doesn't have the balls to make their own music, let alone take the time to learn an instrument. Thanks for checking out my new album. On August 7th, Josh posted a link to a custom jacket he had made on Customized Girl for the low price of $103. Later on, a video interview with Josh was posted by a small YouTuber named Van Wayward. The interview was as dull and predictable as expected, but there were a few noteworthy contradictions by Josh, such as at 9.14, Josh was asked the meaning behind his symbol tattoo. Josh changed the meaning of his tattoo originally from circles representing energy, mind, spirit and body. The Stussy S represents all four elements entwining with each other back into itself. The line connecting the elements and the S represents a belief. Josh changed the meaning to say that the five circles represent the five elements, earth, fire, wind and water and air and the S represents spirit, aka universal energy. At 1428, Josh was asked what he did in Job Corps. But uh, did you go for anything, or was you just there to kind of oh, find your administration? Oh, uh, you want, so you wanted to do like paperwork and stuff like that, yes. right? Yes, John. This is incorrect. Josh initially went to Job Corps to work on cars, but then changed his speciality many times, from a roofer and then eventually to administration. <laughs> I might be going to job course soon, I'm not sure when I'm getting the work filled out to be an auto body man. Because the plan is if I do do that, I can get my own shop and build custom cars for people, custom rods if you want, make a shit ton of money doing it, and then until my musical career takes off at least, you know? Josh was also asked how long he was at Job Corps. Um, how long was you in Job Corps? I think for about two and a half, almost three years. Really? Josh was at Job Corps from July 20th, 2011 and got kicked out for smoking weed in late June, early July 2012. Josh was asked about the hair dye video. Josh claimed that he was not late for work and that he went to work the next day. Oh, the best, okay, my highlight of your whole career. What happened that day? Did you just, was, cause you was like late for work, right? No, I wasn't late for work, I was just dyeing my hair. Oh, and they called you though, right? To come in? No, that was a different video. Oh, okay. See, I'm getting them. I did all my, I kept, I, I went back and watched all the videos to get prepared for the interview. But, uh, did you go, did not you, so you didn't go to work with that hair dye in? Oh, I did go to work. My hair was dyed, but that was the next day. This was false. He was late to work because he forgot what day it was and went into work later that afternoon. Hello. Hey, uh, what were you saying? No, I was shopping. Oh, Jesus Christ. I, oh my, I'm already at the apartment. Son of a bitch. Wow. Well, I feel like an idiot. Oh, crap. All right, that works. I'm so sorry. I misunderstood the dates. All right, bye bye. Well, I feel like an idiot. Um, I missed the days, and it's Thursday, not Friday. I was supposed to come in at 11.30 to f um, 7, but they said I could come in at 4, so all right, I got plenty of time. At 19.10, when Josh was asked about his second sex doll, Fun Size Felicia, Josh tried to play dumb and pretend he didn't know Felicia was, but then quickly remembered and claimed that he melted her with soap, and it was sent by a troll. Out of Fun Felicia and the other one, which one was your favorite? What are you talking about? Fun size Felicia. Yeah, yeah that was sent to me by trolls. Oh, so that's why you cut it up. Well, I didn't cut it up. I washed it with the wrong soap and then it deteriorated and I just threw it away because I couldn't, you know, do anything with it. This is also incorrect. Josh ended up cutting up fun size Felicia like his first sex doll. At 3540, 
Josh claimed he voted for Donald Trump in 2016. You was going to vote for Trump, right? Or was that only for Hillary? No, I voted for Trump both times just because I don't like the way, you know, the way he screwed Bernie Sanders out of that election. Which is incorrect. He voted for Gary Johnson and even made a video about it. Today is election day. It's not too late. Go out and vote Gary Johnson for president. Problem solved. On August 8th, Josh freestyled with his next door neighbor, homeboy Ian. <laughs> On August 11th, Josh asked his fans if they wanted a recreation of the much beloved hair dye video in exchange for $500 to $200. You like the hair dye video? That was pretty funny, wasn't it? But if you guys and gals and they thems, if you give me $500 or less, minimum $200, I will do a hair dye video for you on YouTube. That's what's up. Later on, Josh made a rant video and got annoyed at a donation message from someone called X-Ray Sam calling out Josh for asking for a ridiculous amount of money for the hair dye video. He left a message here. It's kind of messed up that you're asking people to donate money to you so, so that you can make content that ultimately helps your channel. People send you hard earned money out of the kindness of your heart. My heart, you mean their heart. And all that you do is ask for more. We watch you spend it all on alcohol and make the same lazy video response every time you go live. The gravy train is going to run out and you'll be stuck with nothing if you don't start making some real content. I'm not a troll. I don't want this to see it happen, but it will. Zach. Well, first of all, it's not going to stop anything, dude. That's fucking retarded. First of all, what's really fucked up is that you're not me, dude. And I could use that money to make real content. That's just the thing of it, dumbass. What uh, X-Ray Sam doesn't realize is that I could take that money, a minimum of $200, from the hair dye video and use it to make content. I come up with original drink combos. And FYI, I don't spend it all on alcohol, dude. I order food with it too, man. I have other expenses besides alcohol. Alcohol is not even an expense. And if you were a real fan, you wouldn't give a fuck. You'd be like, hey, you know what? Cool, Cobra's producing content. Righteous. You say you're not a troll, but I would have to disagree with you on that. Oh, look at that. Do you see me drinking alcohol right now? Oh, no, you don't. None of you people have any idea what it's like to be King Cobra or to, like, have worked as hard as I've worked over the years to get this famous on YouTube. On August 12th, Deathbed Tapes officially posted Josh's new comedy album on his website, deathbedtapes.com. A little later on in the afternoon, Josh posted on Facebook that he'd made a video saying that his phone allegedly got run over by a truck when out getting cigarettes. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, King Cobra, back at it with another video. I am not having the best of Fridays. Well, the good news is... The King Cobra's comedy album has officially released. The bad news is my phone got ran over by a truck. Uh, I was walking to the store to get some cigarettes, and uh, it fell out of my pocket as I was crossing the street. And I didn't notice it until I got back from the store. I'm all smoking a cigarette, and then I look over on the ground. And I'm like, hey, someone lost their phone. And I started laughing hysterically at it, and I'm like, good thing I still got mine. And then I go to reach into my pocket to listen to some Ozzy Osbourne and then frick in. I'm like, wait a minute. And then I, when I picked up the phone and looked at the back of it, I'm like, motherfucker. <sighs> it's all right. I can use my album money to get a new phone so it's not the end of the world. But still, dude. But anyways, check out that album. It's just dropped. A few minutes later, Josh ended up deleting the video and Facebook post and came clean on Facebook and said that he lied about his phone getting run over and he admitted he smashed it in a rage. Josh then made an apology video to his friends and fans for lying about smashing his phone. What's going on YouTube? I'm here to make a very sincere and quick apology to uh, my fans and to Courtney 
who sent me the phone. Uh, I lied about how my phone broke on social media, and honestly, I'm done breaking my phones, dude. I swear to Lucifer, like, this feeling I feel right now. What really happened was, I lost my temper over a text-to-speech, and long story short, I smacked my phone against my computer desk so hard that it went like that. And then when I tried to, like, straighten it back out, it made the screen crack even more, and then, yeah. Honestly, I'm done breaking my phones. I've done this so many times now that it's just starting to sink in, like... Hey, dipshit, you're not always going to have money to get another one, so, you know. And I, like, I feel like shit because it makes people think that I don't appreciate You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I would, I've never done anything like this to, to anything a fan has ever sent me. This is the first time I've ever done something like this to something that one of my fans has sent me. If everyone wants to hate my guts for what I did, that's perfectly understandable. You know, when I posted on Facebook, I hate my life. And it's like, I got room to fucking talk. Honestly, I don't hate my life, dude. My life is pretty fucking sweet. And I need to quit whining about these stupid little insignificant things. Luckily, I'll make enough money off my newest album to get a new phone. But that's kind of beside the point. That puts a damper on my plans. Because I was going to use my album money to get a month ahead on rent. Like, I swear to Lucifer, I'm done breaking my phones. I mean, that cell phone had a couple cracks in the screen to begin with, but that's kind of not the point, you know? You know, I'm, I'm done losing my temper over my over dumb shit, dude, like... Josh then posted the video, New Album, in an effort to push album sales so he could buy a new phone. Later on, it began thunderstorming in Casper, and Josh recording himself pulling faces in the dark and rambling for almost an hour. That same day, Josh did a donation shout out video for the serial killer Edmund Kemper and addressed his comment calling Josh an alcoholic with rage. What up YouTube, I want to give a shout out to Edmund Kemper who donated one dollar to my cash app. They write, for get help for your anger problems and put down the booze. Okay, first of all, I don't need help for my anger problems. I can control that myself. I'd rather do it on my own, and it has gotten a lot better. And second of all, booze isn't the fucking problem, okay? I haven't had a single drop of alcohol today yet. I had one beer last night, and that was it. If anything, the alcohol helps me manage my autism, because the alcohol releases dopamine in my brain, and when you have autism, your brain doesn't do that. It doesn't release dopamine, so... Thanks for your $1 donation, but fuck off. A few minutes later, Josh clarified that he was allegedly cutting down on drinking and said that the hair dye video for $200 was still on the table. In reference to my latest video, my temper has gotten a lot better. People who watch me on YouTube are like, hey, 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 Cobra's making a solid effort. I'm also YouTube. I've also been trying to cut down on my drinking just a little bit. And I've gotten better at that, to be honest. I'm bettering myself on my own, and nobody nobody who hates me refuses to see it, but people who do see it are the ones who support me, you know? The offer still stands. If I get $200 in my PayPal, I'll do the hair dye video live. On August 13th, many believed that the fart video saga had ended because Josh didn't have a phone. Luckily for them, Josh recorded a fart video on his computer. Uh, uh, oh, oh, it's in juicy. On August 15th, Josh said that his comedy album had sold out on deathbedtapes.com and said that he'd be buying a new phone and a customised phone case. Thank you to Deathbed Tapes for sending me the album money. I got it. Sweet. In the process of ordering a phone and... Also getting a kick-ass custom-made iPhone case for it. That's most definitely what's up. On August 16th, Josh made a short donation shout-out video with Warlord whilst wearing a cowbell around his neck. Chance donated one dollar and said, Don't spend this on hot dogs, boy. I'll spend it on whatever the fuck I want to spend it on, but thank you for identifying with my pronouns. Later on, Josh brought back a fan favourite 
and reviewed KFC's Dave's Famous Bowl. At 2am on August 17th, Josh posted a picture of himself on Facebook. An hour later, Josh put the picture on a shirt to sell on Customized Girl. Later that night, Josh ranted on Facebook about the normalisation of sickos after watching a rage bait YouTube video about chimos. On August 19th, Josh got his new iPhone 8 for around $190 from the website Backmarket, and also his customised durable phone case from MyCustomCase.com for $40. A few minutes later, Josh said that he tried to take the SIM card out of his old phone, but ended up losing it. Josh was very hard on himself, and said that this was karma for breaking his old phone, and seemed to mentally give up on either finding his SIM card, or getting a new one. Yeah, I still got it. This, uh, this phone's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. I like the phone case I put on it, that's pretty sharp. However, it came with this little thing where you could extract the SIM card. So as I was getting it out of the tray from my old phone, the SIM card went flying somewhere in this direction, and now I either have to find my old SIM card to get a new one, which feels like karma, you know? It really does. So I either have to find my old SIM card or get a new one, and that's not going to be too hard to do, getting a new one, but to be honest, I may not install a new SIM card. I may just leave the phone like it is and go phoneless. On August 20th, Cool Taste shaved his head on a live stream for around $40. Nope, it's all gone. It is all gone. It is all gone, see? All that shit is gone. Later on, Josh recorded two videos of himself having the runs on the toilet and said that it's for the trolls. Oh, God damn it. Oh, extra wet and juicy for the trolls. Ugh, yeah, I own the trolls. Speaking of trolls, I'm squeezing off one right now. Oh yeah, suck my dick harder, trolls. Ugh. On August 21st, during a live stream collaboration with Cool Taste, Josh gave out Cool Taste's full card details and almost gave out his own social security number because he had his card in his wallet. I know it looks like a child drew it, but I don't care. I love it, dude. I got you, but I'll plug it for you. This is Cool Taste, this Cash App, so you donate to that Cool Cobra too. Check that out. Beautiful. Cool Taste, ZT, all one word. Yes. Oh, fuck, I didn't mean to plug your Cash App number card. God damn it. But yeah, there's Cool Taste, this Cash App. Check that out, man. Yeah, the donation would help me get a ride home. It would. At midnight on August 23rd, Josh began posting videos using an app called Talking Tom Cat a kid's mobile application to make an animated cat talk and fart. Yeah, lick that dirty pussy butt crack, bitch. Josh also posted on Facebook that he'd be selling more Harry Potter themed shirts on his customised girl storefront. Later on, Josh posted a picture of himself hanging out with fans on Facebook. For no reason at all, homeboy Scotty's mother, Mildred, commented asking if Josh had stopped using meth. The next day, Josh posted on Facebook that he'd finished four new Harry Potter themed t-shirts to sell on Customized Girl. On August 24th, Josh said that he was in his overdraft because of the cost of living, and that also he spends too much money on DoorDash. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer that to my bank, that $9.74, because my account was like $7 in the negative. Check my bank account real quick just to make sure it's out of the negative. I get carried away with uh, DoorDash orders sometimes. It's convenient, but they're expensive. You know, anything's expensive anymore. Gas, groceries, cost of living, prescription drugs, insurance. Oh, shit. Not quite out of the negative, but it will be. I'm not worried about it. And you know what? It happens. Y'all want to give me shit about it? Everyone does it, dude. That's the thing of it. My children are so quick to give me shit about my personal mistakes. It's like, look at yourself in the mirror, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
Later on, Josh attempted to freestyle rap, but his speakers were too close to his computer and drowned him out. Josh thought that the trolls hacked his computer and was turning the volume down. The input volume is moving down on its own and I'm not even touching it. Like, that's supposed to affect me? That's fucking pathetic, dude. I don't try this hard to fuck with my trolls. All I do is make a video and they try as hard as they can to fuck with me back. And it's like, dude, I live rent free in their fucking head. Otherwise, they wouldn't give a fuck. Telling me you better not read the subreddit. Why? It's about me. And, they, and, they, and then they try to say it's not about me. And I'm like, okay, if the subreddit's not about me, dude, then why the fuck is it called the King Cobra JFS subreddit? You sad, miserable fucktards. On August 25th, Josh livestreamed himself doing vocal covers, but ended the stream abruptly after failing to do some vocal covers in honour of the unfortunate passing of ex Cradle of Filth guitarist Stuart. Josh ended up deleting the stream and smashed his headphones to pieces after the stream had ended. No, I don't want it to go full screen, goddammit. This fucking stupid fucking cocksucking fat fucking noise gate dude will not stay the fuck up. I literally hold it on full blast on input volume while I do the song so it picks up on everything. This is embarrassing. This is like the worst cover of Cradle of Hills I've ever fucking done, dude. I fucking hate myself for this right now. You don't even fucking know. Dude, how many fucking times am I gonna fucking choke in this fucking cough in this fucking video? I'm fucking sick of it, dude. Fuck! On August 26th, Josh bought a new pair of headphones for $20 from Walgreens via DoorDash and said that he'd be doing the vocal covers that he'd promised to the fans for donating. On August 27th, whilst keeping an eye out on the King Cobra JFS subreddit, Josh saw that a disgraced sicko and comedian Andy Dick reacted to Josh's comedy album. I don't understand what that meant. You don't know who King Cobra is. You should be embarrassed. You should be very embarrassed. You don't know the I was being a sarcastic. Um, what is he really? A yeah, King Cobra is like a, a big. Oh, no, he's like a low cow. You know what a low cow is? No. It's well, like, what do you call a cat no. with issues? A low cow is Man, a perfectionist. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call a cat that eats lemons? A sourpuss, okay. Bad jokes are bad jokes, but then there you go. <laughs> I don't what do you call a bird that likes to shake its ass? You call it twerky. What kind of bread likes having sex? I heard it was pumpernickel. Pumpernickel, you say? Yes. Hope we're full of coming and give her a nickel. <laughs> On March 30th, Josh made one last ditch effort on Facebook to sell a hair dye video for $200. After failing to get the money needed for the hair dye video, Josh went live on YouTube and continued to pitch the hair dye video at a discounted cost of $160. Josh's stream was interrupted by Alex Campbell, who claimed he didn't do meth anymore, had a job and a place to stay. Another surprise guest interrupted Josh's video. This time it was Josh's neighbor, homeboy Ian. For the month of August, Josh uploaded a total of 198 times. Sadly, once again, a majority of these videos were joke videos, donation shoutouts, or a video of Josh recording his farts. Around 2 a.m. on September 1st, Josh shocked the world and posted a short video of himself with his hair, beard and eyebrows dyed black. He dyed his hair after finally receiving enough donations but disappointed and betrayed his loyal fans after only posting a 7 second clip. Somebody dyed their hair black. There were plenty of memes on the King Cobra JFS subreddit. Josh also posted two pictures of himself on Facebook with his hair dyed. The next morning, Josh made a short shout out video and said that he'd be uploading a video briefly addressing criticism from his fans calling him a scammer.
I'm uploading a video. I went outside to have a cigarette and address some BS that people were talking. But anyways, Tubes, thank you for your donations and watching. I'll catch you later. An hour later, in a video called Addressing the Hate, Josh said that he's being called a scammer for not delivering the hair dye livestream he'd promised after receiving more than enough money in donations that he had asked for. People are calling me a fucking scammer because I didn't film my, my hair dye video live. Well, to be fair, I did not get the money I asked for for that. And I decided that was stupid to charge people money for that in the first place. And second of all, because I'm dyeing my hair black, I'm of course going to get black hair dye all over my fucking face and trying to film that in 2022 and be goofy like I did with the original hair dye video isn't going to work because people might mistake it as you're doing blackface. They would take it to that level too. They'd race bait it like, they, they, you know what I'm saying? And I, I'm not giving them that fucking satisfaction. And third of all, it's already been done, like, once, you know? And fourth of all, you still got a video out of it. Like, people calling me a scammer can fuck off. I didn't like the way the hair dye video was being filmed, so I deleted it. Like, oh, hey, Cobra took the hair dye a fan, sent him, and used it. Isn't that enough? Fuck's sake, YouTube. And you can't please all your fans, so you just make content, and if people like it, cool. If they don't, they don't. On September 3rd, a YouTuber named Minnie Manson made a video about Josh calling him a disgrace to the goth community. People have been asking me what my opinion of Cobra JFS is, also known as Cobes. So here it is. I think he's a fucking jackass, and he's an embarrassment to the goth community. I think he's a flaming fruit. That cowboy hat is retarded. And what's with that filthy, dirty jean jacket that has never been washed since Ronald Reagan was president? For God's sake, I mean, you look like shit on top of it. Stop embarrassing the goth community or we're coming after you. My name is Minnie Manson, and I have spoken. Hell Satan! On September 4th, Josh posted a link to a shirt he had made for Halloween on Customized Girl. On September 6th, Josh posted a video of him recklessly operating his lathe to make a wand. Well, that can happen. Ah, oh, shit. Well, at least he didn't snap completely on me. That's basically it took me an hour to make. That doesn't even include drying it. So a bare minimum of an hour to make, but I'll catch you later. Later that day, Josh posted a link to a new Fuck the Trolls shirt he had made on Customized Girl. On September 7th, Josh ate a pizza in front of Warlord, who watched on with a look of famished yearning on his face. YouTube, this first bite is for the trolls who hate when I get pizza to eat. Mm. And for all my awesome fans. Mm. On September 8th, Josh did a tribute livestream to Queen Elizabeth II after she had passed away that same day. Josh got drunk on Peach Crown Royal and embraced his 80% British heritage. So Queen Elizabeth II died and I want to pay tribute to her as somebody who was 80% British. You know, it only seems fitting. I raise this crown royal peach to Queen Elizabeth II. I have a glass of that deliciousness. And, uh, oh, oh, punk rock says chug, 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 chug. <laughs> Uh, what I recommend. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the stuff. That's the bloody stuff. On September 9th, Josh went on to Crystal Roberts stream with Warlord and they were already drunk. Warlord said that he was now a transgender female named Sasha. 
Warlord claimed that he'd been taking hormone medication for the past six months and said that he'd be going to Taiwan in four years for gender affirmation surgery with the money he'd won by suing the pharmaceutical company selling Respiradol. Unsurprisingly, fans were sceptical about the sincerity of Warlord's revelation about his gender identity. Josh was very uncomfortable after Warlord invaded Josh's space numerous times, prompting Josh's fans to expect another fistfight to happen. And I know that you're used to that, you're used to a lot of people knowing you who you don't know, but this person not only knows you, but they are calling you out. <coughs> he is a female to male transgender person, which we have no problems with transgender people here. We accept oh, everybody, God. right? You know, I'm very progressive for the most part. I think he's a fucking jackass and he's an embarrassment to the goth community. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to stop it right there. I'm going to stop it right there and get, and give you a chance. I'm going to take it down, give you a chance. Here you, you are trying to pose as the opposite sex. Don't get me <gasps> Cobes. Did you I'll call them my him whatever they identify, but don't give me that crap. You want Did you hear did you hear what he just said? Is yeah. that warlord talking in the background? Hey Sasha. <laughs> Pipe down, sit down, pipe down, be quiet. I'm doing a show here, Sasha. Are you ready? Are you ready to watch the rest of it? He just essentially, Minnie Manson just said you were a big fruit. For like, so. Are you in cool taste on good terms? Well, I don't know, man. Cause like last time I heard he did some pretty messed up shit towards me. Like he told me that he didn't care that I, like, I didn't try to accidentally dox his shit. I thought his, his uh, cash app card was the same as mine. That's why. And to be fair, I was a little bit drunk when I went, you know, when I was with him. I'm glad that you already know about what I was going to talk about because someone brought it to my attention that tonight on a uh, live stream, cool taste actually docks your information right down to your apartment number. Warlord, when did you start identifying with the female? 2015. Are you, um, have you looked into what the surgery entails and, and um, the hormones and stuff? Have you started yeah, to take the hormones? Hormone replacements. I've already had hormone replacement. I've already been off for six months. I lactate. You lactate? My like crystal being a woman is no walk in the park, honey. It is no walk in the fucking park, exactly. I bring I bushy tailed. Bring it on, bitch. What is all over your shirt? Did you, what is this? Is this a stain? What, what is that's, all of this all over your shirt? That's grease from alcohol. I just woke up to this guy. Warlord. My own experience is not yours. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Sasha, Sasha. It looks like somebody is, it looks like somebody's warming up. Cobes, you're, you're going to have your hands full. Are you going to be mad at me if I poke a little bit? Dude, don't fucking touch me, dude. Get off of me. Seriously. Uh-oh. Fucking quit trying to touch me, dude. I've asked you to ask this several times. I was just poking it out. Okay, I don't want that. Stop. You're, oh, you're fucking joking. Dude. Ease it up a bit. <laughs> I moved your boy, didn't I? Jesus <laughs> Christ. Sasha, you got to respect the boundaries, girl. Thank you. I'll have a talk with her when she gets back. Are you using Coves? Are you using like her and she? No, he's not. Is that upsetting you, Sasha? Is that why you're kind of like violating his boundaries? No, no. he's just, I'm just fucked up. I'm going through this shit. He's my friend. He's with me. How are you planning on paying for your reassignment surgery or does your insurance cut? I mean, he's gone. It's already paid for. Look, yeah, it's already paid for. Respiratory. Respiratol. Apparently, he took respiratol and it caused him to grow boobs, and uh, he sued them and won the lawsuit. And now it's his real assignment. Real assignment surgery is paid for. His, I mean, her, his, her words, not mine. Josh, you understand? Like, this is so confusing to me. But like, but do you know how it is for me to be dad three and be like, I'm not your dad? Okay. Are you gonna have them call you mom? They already called me mom. Mr. Mom. Mr. Mom. Yeah. It's my name in Russian. Alexander means Sasha in Russian. That's what Alex said. Hey. Oh. Yeah.
Yes, I'm going to mute them really quick. Hey, uh, Sasha, you need to learn to respect the boundaries, buddy. You got, you can't keep on like getting all over him. We got to respect boundaries. Yeah, but you keep on doing it. You're making him so uncomfortable. It's making me uncomfortable. I'm at the edge of my seat. Keep your hands to yourself, girlfriend. Oh, hopefully she fucking hears this shit because this is fucking ridiculous. Oh, my God. You need to stay six feet apart, buddy. COVID is a thing still. You need to... Hey, don't touch! Hey! Dude, please quit touching me, okay? I'm asking nicely. Yeah, no means no. I'm sorry. I apologize for being a fucked up individual, okay? I'm trying to get some G fuel, okay? Uh, Cobes is my friend, and I see you making him very uncomfortable. He's asked you numerous times. Don't walk away when I'm talking to you, boy. Girl. You're my friend, too. He's not going to cry. It's just he's been he's transitioning into a female, so his hormones are out of whack, and you know how that goes. Yeah, Cobes, I don't like seeing you so uncomfortable. Like I, I'm picking uh, up on it. Well, just observant and learning as I go along, you know. Yeah, I could. Um, I'm, I'm not going to stoop down to that level, to be honest. Hey! Get the hell off of him! Okay, You are my friend, bro. I appreciate that. It's a good touch me. I was saying, as a male masculine whale, how do you uh, yeah. Fuck sickos, because Mayor, uh, Minnie Manson did a video. This is my junior high school uniform in junior high. It's number 14. Uh, Dude, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> oh, God. oh, Cobes. I, I, I fucking feel for you right now. Like, I just don't even know. This is what happens when you drink while you're pregnant, you guys. I'm just kidding. You are my friend. friend. My way, but I'm you are my kidding. friend always, and it will always be that way. So we have another. We have another super chat. We have Melissa, the boomer dark side of the tune. Uh, she would put five bucks in. She said she needs a code shout out. She's super sick. Love you, Crystal. Just called nine one one. Oh my God, that's horrible. Give her a co code. Give her circle protection and, and a shout out because she's sick and just called 911. She asked this shit and she no, got she it, right? No, not, dude. I don't want the shit you're throwing at me, dude. Like, stop. You don't want. No, I don't, okay? Well, then she should shut the fuck up. Oh my God. Sasha's trans, dude. Just quit throwing condoms at me. Jesus fucking Christ. I use that insecure with your own masculinity. May I please have some more alcohol before I go home? Well, I'm not just saying, dude. You, uh, you drank all the alcohol, dude. There's no more. Life. I'm not going to read that. You just ate him the past two fucking days, bitch. Fussing right about now. it right now isn't going to make the liquor stores open, dude. I know what it is. Fuck's <laughs> sake. Josh, I can, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I call bullshit. I just feel like there's, I'm not, it's not resonating as being sincere to me, his transition and stuff. Your guess is as good as mine, you know. I feel like maybe that's why you're that I would be so uncomfortable in your predicament right now because of that. It's making me uncomfortable. It's a legal C B D weed. Can I have some of that alcohol? This is a, this is my drink, dude. Sorry. I'm not trying to uh, you can have one sip, but that's it. A few hours later, Josh made a night video and said that he'd be trying a hair regrowth product that Fan had sent him. Josh also said that he kicked Warlord out for invading his personal space and they had a minor tiff. Now one of my fans sent me some uh, stuff to try to regrow my hair so I'm experimenting with that. If you saw Crystal Roberts stream, um, yeah it froze up, her internet was being weird, so was mine. Alex left, okay, he was being super obnoxious and not respecting it my personal space you know i don't care if alex is gay or trans or whatever it's just you know what i'm saying like 
don't put don't push boundaries dude you know now i didn't do anything we didn't have a huge fight or anything he just he left and i tried to hand him his backpack the second time he came back and he refused to take it basically told me fuck you and then left i'm like okay whatever dude people are gonna burn their bridges real quick you know what i'm saying on september the 11th Josh went live to do his traditional 9-11 livestream to pay his respects to the victims of the 9-11 terror attack. Sadly for Josh, his livestream froze after only being live for 15 minutes. Josh attempted to go live again after his stream froze, but it froze again after only 14 minutes. Throughout the month, Josh repeatedly went to homegirl Angie's house to watch the NFL. Go Falcons! That's King Cobra JFS's favourite team. On September 13th, Josh made a short video at Angie's house telling the trolls on the King Cobra JFS subreddit to fuck off for correcting him all the time. So I did not know that Princess Diana was actually the Queen's you know, daughter-in-law. So like I said, I don't live in England. I'm not aware of the chain of command and how that works. I wasn't trying to be disrespectful when I was paying tribute to the Queen. Um, all the people on the subreddit need to get a life. Over the next couple of days, Josh only made donation shoutouts and hung out at Angie's house. On September 16th, Josh randomly posted on Facebook, Fuck suicide, I love being me. On September 17th, Josh got a text message from a troll challenging him to eat a piece of fruit and call his dad and tell him he loved him for $100. Josh most likely door dashed to Peach and completed the challenge on a short live stream. We have in my hands a delicious peach. Someone challenged me on Cash App to eat a piece of fruit and call my dad on camera and tell him I love him. And they said they'd give me a hundred bucks for it. So here goes nothing. Mm. Good peach. What's up exploring with the ASMRs? What's up? I guess we'll see, won't we? It's a peach, not an apple. They did not pay me in advance, and no, my dad does not get a cut of it. He doesn't really need it. He already has a job, his own job. This is what I do for a living. I'll deliver my half of the bargain, so if we deliver on their half, cool. It's a tasty little peach, nice and juicy, sweet, delicious. What's up, man? Oh, hey, Dad. Just wanted to call and say I love you. Well, thanks, bud. I love you, too. What are you doing at the house? Uh, streaming. Someone offered me 100 bucks to uh, stream myself eating a piece of fruit and calling you and saying I love you. Well, that's bizarre as hell. So how's it going, man? I'm in Ireland right now. Oh, it's going pretty good. <laughs> haven't seen you in a few weeks. I made a new wand. It's pretty sick. Yeah? How okay. many, uh, you, you pulled out the rest of that wood or you just made a couple? Uh, I've, I've broken a couple trying to make them and I made one for my costume this year and so I'll, I'll be doing that after I get done streaming. Uh, just make sure you turn off the tip first, no glitches are. Yeah. You know, you see, the, see the places that gotta get real thin for last. That's what I've been doing. Tip, tip, yeah. Then the handle, then the middle. You gotta do the middle last, that's the thing you gotta remember. That'll help save some breakage, but even then it's still pretty challenging. Yes, it is. Well, I'm in Ireland. I'm just getting ready to go to bed. We got an early bus in the morning, so. Well, there you go. How, how, how you like it? How you like it, Ireland? Oh, it's great crack as always. Oh yeah, I bet. So we'll get to go when I get home. Okay, good. Cause I gotta go to the PO box and stuff. Oh yeah, definitely gotta do that. It's probably getting pretty full. Yeah. yeah. All right, man. Love you. Love what you doing? Bye bye. Bye. He'll get home safe. I'm not worried about it. My whole family will. Anyways, YouTube. There it is. It was assumed that the troll didn't follow through with rewarding Josh with the money after completing the challenge, as Josh uploaded a new video saying fuck the trolls. Yeah, fuck the trolls. You know what I'm saying? Fuck them. I tried to call the number back, like, hey, I delivered on my half of the bargain, where's your half, you know? This number is no longer in working numbers. Yeah, whatever, dude. Tage, thank you for donating $10 for the uh, Cash App Challenge. Although, if you are the person who asked for it, I believe we agreed upon $100, but it is what it is. It just shows you, it just shows you I rule the trolls' lives, dude. And, then, and that they're jealous. 
Later on, Josh posted a picture of his supper, a big sandwich from Albertsons, he most likely door dashed. On September 18th, Josh posted a picture of himself on Facebook. Later on that day, Josh did a 7 hour livestream with the main focus being on Ellen Knight and her family. Who's Ellen? Hey Thunderdome millionaire, go fuck yourself boy. Hide user! We told you not to go live. Why don't you fucking make me, dude? Y'all need to leave Ellen Knights and her family the fuck alone, you sad, miserable pieces of shit. I don't give a shit if Ellen dates me, dude. I have a legion of fangirls that want to be with me. That's honestly her fucking loss. I have done nothing but try to care and be a solid friend, to be quite truthful with you. Like... I don't even talk to Ellen anymore, dude. And, and do any of you ever talk to Ellen personally? Be like, is Josh really a piece of shit or what? She'll be like, no, actually, he's been super cool about backing off and not trying anything. And I'm tired of Walt and Angie getting, I'm tired of Walt and Angie getting fucked with, to be honest with you. It's just, it ain't right, dude. There's, there's senior citizens. Walt's a badass Vietnam veteran who contracted Agent Orange. Okay, he's a Marine who was a sniper for our fucking country. My buddy Walt did not contract Agent Orange as a Vietnam vet to have a bunch of fucking asshole trolls bother him. And honestly, if Walt and Angie had a problem with me, dude, they could tell me to get the fuck out. Never come around again. Don't darken our doorstep. And I'd be like, all right. Well, nice knowing you. You know? Like Cobra, what makes Ellen Knight so special in your eyes? She plays guitar and she likes snakes. But that's all I'm going to say on that. It's not the simple, okay, like her beauty, that's a bonus, in my opinion. You know, it's the fact that she plays guitar and likes snakes. And she also smokes cigarettes. She loves to play video games. She's into anime, you know. Really cool chick, dude. On September 19th, it was reported on the local news website Oil City News that Warlord was arrested yet again for a criminal warrant. Later on, Cool Taste made a short video making fun of Josh. Did Warlord get a sex change to help cover I and did dry spell? That's not hate, that's a legitimate question. Because, I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. Hmm. Question. On September 20th, Josh disabled YouTube live chat after someone donated $4.20 asking him to. Josh liked the idea of disabling live chat to stick it to the trolls. Josh also said that he was unaware of whether or not Warlord had been arrested. He didn't seem to care. Shout out to uh, CMG. Says, turn off the chat in your next live stream. Fuck the trolls. I agree. Well, my account at my bank is kind of in the negative, so I want to take this $11 and boop, we're going to transfer it. That'll give me $10.58 towards getting it out of the negative. Sweet. People are like, did Warlord Campbell get arrested? I don't know, and quite frankly, I don't care. He royally pissed me off last time he was over here, hanging out with me and shit. Like, okay, I appreciate when Alex comes over and he brings over alcohol. Like, I appreciate him contributing like that. But, like, then he has to remind me of it when he gets a little bit drunk. And it's like, cool, okay? Like, no offense to Campbell, but it's like, if I buy alcohol and I share it with people, I don't shove it in their face, you know? Like, you know, Alex Campbell, no offense, but he gets annoying sometimes, dude. He's always got to be like the center of attention he's always got to have some crazy story to tell and it's just like dude just be yourself you, you don't have to try to impress me to be my friend you know but if alex campbell ended up in jail that's his own goddamn stupidity like people are telling me how'd you hear about warlock getting arrested again and i'm like no quite frankly i don't care because i asked the dude to quit fucking touching me and he's so fucking drunk he won't stop and i'm like Get the fuck out dude you know he left with his shit, and then when he came back, I don't even remember what the fuck he said half the, after that, but then when he left again, I'm like, well, sorry you feel that way, man. Here's your backpack. He wouldn't even fucking take it. He just glared at me and stomped out of the building, and I'm like, okay, fuck you. Like, I don't 
I don't care if Alex Campbell's gay, trans, whatever. Just respect my boundaries, you know? That's the kind of crap, no offense to anyone, but that gives that community a bad name. So if Alex did get arrested, it's news to me. What did he get arrested for? I don't know. Probably something stupid, you know? Like, Alex Campbell didn't used to be like this. Like, something in him changed. Something in Alex changed. I don't know what the fuck it is. But when I first started hanging out with Alex Campbell, he wasn't this obnoxious. He respected boundaries, you know, sitting there trying to become the next wand apprentice. I'm like, yeah, okay. I don't mind teaching people how to make wands. It keeps the craft alive. But nobody makes wands like Cobra does, you know. Josh received a donation recommending he continue to disable live chat, and he concurred. Josh was also asked if he wanted to go to a local Casper bar called the Gaslight Social on September 27 to see the heavy metal band Gwar perform. Shout out to X-Ray Sam, thank you for your one dollar donation. Uh, he writes, hey Coast, do you know the band, do you know who Gwar is? They're a metal band who plays a really dope live show, they squirt blood into the crowd and shit. I want to buy you a ticket to the show and Casper. It's on the 27th of September. Text me. Please don't read my number on stream, Zach. Hell yeah, man. Um, I don't have a way to get up there, so... Eh. I do like Guar. They're, they are awesome. Uh, I'm not very social to begin with, but hey, I might text you here in a bit. CMG Real commented, Here's a $1.53. Thanks for turning off chat. Let's keep it off, question mark. Yeah, turning off the uh, YouTube chat on my live videos seems to have really pissed off my trolls and made a fucking point. And it's like I said last night, you're going to text me. I'm just going to restream your shit. And my point was, well, thanks for making me more famous, you know. Josh would eventually accept under the stipulation that the fan who bought the ticket also give him a ride to the concert. In reference to my last video, yes, I have heard of Guar. They do kick ass. I do like their music. But yeah, if I could find a ride up there, you know, I might, I might take them up on that offer. That same day, Josh uploaded two new t-shirts to his customized girl storefront. On September 23rd, a fan donated $10 and told Josh they would donate $100 if they recorded him brushing his teeth. Josh took up the offer and recording himself brushing his teeth, a rare sight indeed. What's up, YouTube? I want to give a shout out to Sandra Smith, who wanted to see me brush and floss my teeth and use mouthwash. I just got a fucking brand new bottle of that stuff right there. This here is Crest Pro Health Advanced Anti-Cavity Fluoride Rinse Extra Whitening. I do have a couple of cavities. Eh, gross. Okay, so i want to brush my teeth. Now what I have is this amazing toothbrush right here. It's rechargeable. It has the uh, floss feature. I'll turn the flosser all the way up. Watch when I hit the button. See that? It spits water. That's how I floss my teeth. That's a lot easier than trying to like do it with like string and shit. But anyways, I'm also going to be brushing my teeth with some of this right here. This is Crest 3D White. <laughs> okay. Be careful, Cobra. This might break the internet. That stings a little bit. I just need to brush my teeth more. I'm only doing the video because I messed up on it. Mm. Whoo! Minty fresh. Yeah. Crest Pro Health. Alcohol free. Well, what fun is that? <laughs> Oh yeah. King Cobra brushing his teeth. Later on, Josh joined Crystal Robert's stream at Angie and Walt's house and had them say that Josh wasn't stalking their daughter, Alan. How's the wand business coming, dude? Lucrative. Loving it. I'm looking for wands right now that I'm going to try to get sold and listed on the weekend. So I can get some money for that Guar concert. 
And fuck all the trolls telling me they're going to show up to Guar and kick my ass. You do realize the cops watch my videos, and the cops here in town are a fan of my, my videos. All right. Hey, Walt, what do you got to say to the trolls, buddy? Hi, they're fucked up. They, they're fucking punks. She asked if, if I was stalking your daughter. No, she, he's not. No. You heard it from the man himself. I got you, bud. You heard it from Ellen's father. I'm not stalking her. I don't give a fuck who in the fuck everybody is, but I'll tell you what. These people keep talking shit on my motherfucking daughter, and I'm calling every fucking cop in goddamn Casper, Wyoming, and I guarantee it. They know I'm autistic, too, and the cops are friends of my video, so keep fucking around. On September 25th, Josh sold two wands on Etsy, one glow-in-the-dark wand, and a pumpkin-themed wand for $48 each. On September 26th, Josh made a new shirt to sell in his customised girl storefront, making fun of Prince Andrew being a nasty pedo. On September 27th, Josh said that he was feeling sick, but was still planning on going to the Guar concert later on. <laughs> so I feel like shit, but I'm going to press onward. I'm looking forward to the Guar concert in a couple hours. My fans spent a lot of money on the ticket for me, so I'm going to man up and just drink some Dayquil and go to the concert, and I should be fine. Last night, I had the sweats, temperature spikes, and the shakes. I will press onward. I'm not going to let getting sick stop me from going to the Guar concert. I truly appreciate my fans. Otherwise, you know, yeah. Josh later created a new shirt on Customized Girl, and used the image of the glow-in-the-dark Star Wars theme wand he'd sold on the 25th. Later on that day, Josh posted a video of himself at the Guar concert with two drinks. We're at the uh, Guar concert. Fuck the trolls! Fuck them! Okay. I forgot what the fuck I ordered, but I know I got a Bud Light and a mixed drink, so we're set. Rocking that bond number one, get you some! Two pictures showing Josh in full gothic cowboy regalia at the Guar concert were posted to the King Cobra JFS subreddit. Josh recorded a few more videos of him rocking out at the show. Unfortunately for fans, Josh's content for the month of September followed the same formula of fart videos, joke videos, and donation shoutouts, with these shoutouts in particular growing in number. The frequency of Josh's livestream dropped significantly, with him streaming only 14 times in September. This was perhaps due to his internet issues, but on the plus side, Josh only did one video response. By just adding up Josh's donations, he received way over $1,000 from his fans. This money didn't manifest itself into new content as Josh often promised it will, and his account went into the negative multiple times a week. We can rightfully assume the money was squandered on alcohol and DoorDash. The month of October marked the fifth anniversary of Josh's dry spell. Josh took four days off at the beginning of the month due to being sick. Josh returned to making videos on October 6th with a video called I'm Dead, LOL, in reference to the King Cobra JFS subreddit making fun of Josh and making up the rumour that he had died. Yeah, I really did die. Oh my god, you don't even know. It's crazy, YouTube. Well, you know how the trolls keep saying I'm dead? Oof. I don't know how they found out, man. Shit. I was gonna keep it a secret. Satan murdered my ass and then resurrected me to live forever. The next day on October 7th, Josh posted some pictures of old cars on Facebook. Later on that night, Josh joined Courtney's livestream and spoke about Stephanie and Warlord. I think Stephanie is adorable, and I wish you guys were still friends, Josh. What do you think? Like, how do you feel about Stephanie? I don't really have any feelings toward her. You don't think about Stephanie like that? No, I regret cheating on her, but there's nothing I can do about it. I've learned from my mistakes, and now I'm, I'm, I'm moving on. I do know that she, she started talking shit on my apartment just out of fucking nowhere. 
And it was like, what the shit was that? And then she got herself a black boyfriend and she quit talking shit on me. I'm like, well, there you go. <laughs> but like the way she treated him sometimes on camera, like some of the racist jokes she would make. I'm like, yeah, no, unsubscribe. But she was drinking this Mountain Dew, this new flavor of Mountain Dew. And I don't know how the conversation led to it, but then Stephanie made some comment towards her black boyfriend, like, let the blackness inside of you. And she was talking about the soda pop, of course. And the dude was already black. And I'm just like, um, like, I guess she was trying to be funny. And, like, the dude's getting pussy from her, so he'll let it slide to a point. But, like, bro. You can do it. Let the black thing into your eyes. <laughs> Some people are probably going to comment, great, the blacks have ruined my undo as well. <laughs> so, I, what do you think about Sasha? I don't think he really is identifying as trans. I think it's just, just like the time when he lied about having cancer. Did you, you do realize that the medication he's taking, that he said he was taking for his transition, or mm -hmm. actually fucking psych meds for his schizophrenia, and yeah. one of the side effects includes a little bit of weight gain. So he's taking medication for schizophrenia, and he thinks in his mind that it's because he's transitioning. Stretching <laughs> is my personal boundaries. All right, fine. But when he gets drunk and he won't stop touching me or trying to sit on my lap, and I'm like, dude, stop. Like, I'm not gay. It's not going to happen, dude. I don't know what to tell you. Like, On October 13th, Josh posted on Facebook about the passing of actress Angela Lansbury, or Angela Lasbury, as Josh called her. Josh later on posted on Facebook and many of the discords that he was in an Amazon link to a badass goth costume, perhaps hinting that someone should buy it for him. Later on, Josh shared a memory on Facebook of a picture of him with fuller hair from 2013 and pined for the days when his hair didn't look quite as much like a hard-boiled egg. Josh then went over to Angie's house for some beverages. On October 13th, Josh ate a 16-ounce pepperoni stick whilst ranting about Kanye West and his recent antics. On October 16th during a live stream, Cool Taste said that he donated $40 to an effort to collab again with Josh, but Josh ignored the donation. When Cool Taste was told that Josh ignored his donation, Cool Taste deleted Josh's number and said that if he were to collab in the future, he would not bring over more alcohol. Lord Mongoose Colon, what happened to the dono you gave him for a collaboration question mark? I don't know. I don't ever know. I don't even know if he ever responded to it. Camera. Oh, he, did he shout it out? Let's do a coll another collab soon. Lord Mongoose colon no mention of it. Wow. Fuck you too. You Camera. Uh, Lord Mongoose colon no mention of it in list. I didn't do it for the donation. I did it for a response. Like fuck him. He don't do shit. He don't do shit except drink Bud Light and play with sticks all day. Of a JFS, do your Josh face on it as a motherfucking scammer 20 to your mother. Buys him a phone every time he braces it, says it's bullshit that says he does his phone out of his pocket in a parking lot. That's not the truth when he shows it on camera that he's breaking it too. Oh well, I'm done with this. I'm done with this. I'm done with that. <laughs> On October 17th, Josh reacted to a video about drama on the live streaming platform Twitch. Josh simped for the streamer Amaranth for over 7 hours, and a troll sent Josh an all veg and sore Subway sandwich, starting a trend that would continue throughout the month. Like, what the fuck is this shit? Fucking people sending me food and shit, at least it was paid for. If you want to send me food, you don't have to. I can buy it with my PayPal or Cash App or but the money that I make, you don't have to send me food. I have plenty of people that will buy me food if I'm out and I truly need it. But if you do send me food, it is greatly appreciated. I will say this, the sauce combination is pretty tasty. I don't care if there's meat on it, I'm going to eat it. Like, oh my god, you guys, who the fuck sent Cobra a fucking vegetable sub? Oh, 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 oh my god. You got Cobra to eat his vegetables. <laughs> so, like, thanks for the free sub, asshole. Y'all are fucking retarded. Oh, that was a sloppy fucking sandwich. Holy shit. I'm gonna call this sandwich the sloppy vegetable sandwich.
On October 18th, Josh posted a video on Facebook and showed off props for his Halloween costume, a cap gun and a leather holster. Josh bought them from the website gunsofold.com, the gun for around $72 and the holster for almost $100. Even Clint liked Josh's new cap gun. That's a sweet cap gun, thanks dad. On October 19th, Josh went live and said his account was $180 in the negative and that his P.O. box had been renewed by his dad Clint for $89. Oh, look at that, YouTube. I went from $185 in the negative to being only $144.21 in the negative. Sweet. Got a little carried away ordering DoorDash over the weekend. Oops. <laughs> I don't expect my fans to like foot the bill for my negative accounts, but if you guys do donate, it's more than appreciated. I want to give a shout out to my dad. Thank you for paying $89 to get it reinstalled for another six months. Shit. I realize how loved I am. And, uh, it tugs at your heartstrings, dude. Josh was sent almost $300 from his fans and got out with a negative. Josh was also sent another Subway sauce sandwich by a fan or a troll. One second. Jesus fucking Christ. Like, how is this fucking trolling? I'm gonna send Cobra fucking free food. Like, oh, 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 oh Cobra, we know where you live. Oh, 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 oh. It's like, yeah, thanks for the free food, asshole. Oh, goody, we can make a tinfoil hat later to protect our thoughts from the government and the aliens. And the only reason if the trolls do this kind of crap is just to shove it in my face that we know where you live. Okay, cool. I don't have to sit here and find out where my trolls live to fuck with them. All I gotta do is make a video and they fucking give me money and, and food. As if that's supposed to be some kind of trolling, I'm over here like, bro. Josh would go on to blow a majority of the donation money sent to him during the stream on alcohol, cigarettes, and multiple DoorDash orders from Craves. On October 22nd, Josh posted on Facebook of his dinner, sushi and sake. Later on, Josh sold a single laid wand on Etsy for $48 and it sold out instantly. On October 24th, whilst at Angie's house, Josh was trolled on Crystal Roberts' panel livestream. What's up? Yeah, I just I just wanted to ask Josh, like, why does he continue uh, e-begging? Thanks, big yeah, quick, you asshole! Too. Get out of here! Come on! I got plenty of fangirls that want to date me, dude. I'm not worried about Ellen, to be honest. That's really look good, at the picture dude. he drew of you. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. I appreciate your support. Of course. I wanted to ask him about like if uh, about Ellen Knight, if he remembers that chick. God, my trolls are pathetic, sir. Well, it's gonna, what, wait, if I was Angie, I would be putting you in a corner. Uh, 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 I got Walt in the crossfire a little bit, yeah, but it wasn't too bad. Is Walt mad that you jerk <laughs> off to Ellen and Angie? Hey, God damn you! Yo, this, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Yeah, I just want to yeah, let my son know that I'm uh, very uh, disappointed in him. No, 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 no. Josh, I'm a huge fan, dude. I, I don't know why she's saying I'm a troll. I've been watching you content for years now. I'm a huge fan, dude. The way I you can do the begathons where you get all the pay piggies to empty out their banks for you because you're irresponsible with all your money. Yeah, you're jealous of the fact that like, fans give me money and I don't even ask for it. And you proved it by fucking popping on Crystal Stream. <laughs> Yeah, Cobes, what's your, where do you see yourself in five years from now? Potentially living in my clock tower dream house, just making wands and doing my thing, you know? That's what's up. You're still delusional, alcoholic e-beggar. Oh, Lord. And you're a jealous cock-sucking cunt, faggot, piece of shit who can't stop sucking Cobra's cock, so suck harder. Hey, Cobra, what's going on, man? Dylan, <laughs> how you doing? Hey, man, I just wanted to uh, let you know that you suck at guitar. Yeah, not as hard as you suck my cock, boy. I wanted to ask, uh, why does he spend all his money on porn and alcohol? What? Instead of bettering his life? 
Uh, what? I can't hear what you're he's just, saying. He's you just e begging. All you do is e beg. You're a fucking drunk e begging alcoholic. You depend on no your pay pigs. You, get drunk you on depend camera. on That's your pay pigs. You're going nowhere in truth, life. Dude. You're delusional. It's the fucking truth. You're, you're never going to win the lottery. You you're never going to get laid. You're and never going to have children. You're not going to get that clock tower. You'll never change. You're stuck in your own ways. Why don't you grow up? What are you going to do without you Clint? You're going to end up in a you're group home. You're the one harassing a 31-year-old autistic. And you're telling 31-year-old you e-beggar. You're a fucking hypocrite. You're a fuck up. Shit. Even your father fucking doesn't like you. At least I have a father, you jealous cocksucker. You wish you had a family <laughs> that cared about you. They yeah, don't you care about you. You know I'm right, dude. No, they oh don't care God. about you. That's why they you let you fucking, fucking right. keep on drinking. You know what? I own your fucking life, life. Otherwise, you wouldn't hop on Crystal Stream and talk shit. Continue jerking off to Ellen. We yeah, all know, you know that's why you're only you there. Seen shit. That's why you mom, only go to Walt and Angie's for hard. Ellen. You're a stalker. You wish you could know you're Ellen, dude. You're the one stalking Ellen, dude. You're the one stalking uh, you, Ellen. I mean, you're pathetic. the one at Ellen's house right now. I'm not at Ellen's house, dude. I don't go down there unless she invites me. You're a fucking <laughs> piece of She'll shit. never you're invite you. Cobra. You're, you're a jealous sicko. of Cobra. Otherwise, you wouldn't hop on stream and talk shit. What? What? What is there to be jealous about? You're nothing. I'm more than you are, otherwise no, you wouldn't hop not. on stream. You, you would not care about me if you were not jealous. If you were not jealous of me, you would not yeah. hop on Crystal stream and talk all for, this smack, dude. For sure. I, I'm, I'm jealous of a are. spice head. He has a point. I'm, I'm jealous of a spice head, sorry. Hey, what he Kate, should he do does. is pump out real are you content jealous of that? Cold of following, dude, you're jealous content. of Cobra Cold. What are these joke videos? The and fuck? you proved that you're jealous the of on Crystal stream to talk shit. Then why the fuck are you calling yourself and Ozzy Danny too. Phil fan? Ozzy's fucking you know what? trash. That's not even goth. You're Who a the fake bro, god. Come on know. now. Go fuck yourself, dude. I hope Ozzy dies. I hope I, you I die first. He's gonna outlive you and me both, you little fucking cunts. No, he's gonna die. Fuck that shit. You're gonna die first. I, I think you should stop trying to convince like Walt and Angie that they should watch a Cuties marathon with you. I think it's pretty sick. The, the fact that you have mm -hmm. underage women every stream is like, it's really sickening. You, you talk about kids every the fact stream. That you hate Cobra, but you're so obsessed with him, you have to go on Crystal's stream and talk shit. All right, ladies, Crystal. On October 25th, in a deleted live stream, Josh was sent another sore sandwich. Oh, it's dripping all over the place. Stop. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get a, I gotta get a fucking plate. Son of a bitch. Ugh, fucking retarded boggleum. God. The useless fucking retard is spilling sauce all over the fucking plate. <laughs> I are too stupid to eat sandwich. On October 26th, Josh created a new t-shirt for Customized Girl. A cool hot rod t-shirt. Later, Josh did a fan mail unboxing stream and immediately took a huge sniff of some sexy, black lacy unmentionables that an allegedly female fan had sent him. The sender has yet to be confirmed as of age. What do we got here? Oh my goodness, that is naughty. Holy shit. <laughs> Underwear that I could not wear on YouTube, I'll tell you that right now. That is... wow. <laughs> Dear Gothic King Cobra, I have been an of-age fangirl for many years, but have never sent a package until now. Oh, oh, you know, you, you know, you've made it as a rock star when you when you got of-age women sending you free panties. <laughs> yeah, hold up, they're washed. Fuck yeah. Uh, see, even if I don't have a girl, this this is exactly why. I quit giving a shit about my fucking dry spell. I got women sending me their underwear, man. Love it. Yeah, that is awesome. I do enjoy it. Thank you for your alco for the alcohol, the candy, and the panties, man. Appreciate it. In part two of Josh's fan mail unboxing, Josh would go on to get drunk off the alcohol fans had sent him, and he was sent yet again another Subway signature sauce special. I mean, obviously, my trolls support me in what I do. Otherwise, they wouldn't send me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I own the trolls. Otherwise, you wouldn't give me free sandwiches. On October 29th, 
Josh went live in a deleted stream, Josh reaffirmed that he was not in fact a sicko by stating that he did not find Ozzy Osbourne's grandchildren sexually attractive. Kid behind the camera's kids gross me out sexually, just like all kids. I fucking hate sickos. Ozzy Osbourne's grandchildren gross me out sexually, and that's how I feel about kids in general. I'm like, they're not even old enough to have boobs, let alone have a drink, you know? After the stream, Josh posted on Facebook saying that he was depressed because the world was full of fake ass motherfuckers. Clint said, love you Josh. On Halloween, Josh posted two videos at the office bar and grill, making fun of his trolls. And you know, I'm back out there with another video. Yeah, right now I'm drinking a Cobra's candy at the bar. And I wanna say to my YouTube trolls, happy Halloween, and I own your sad fucking lives. You don't see me going after my YouTube trolls because they drink in a bar. Honestly, it's pathetic. Cheers to a happy Halloween and owning the YouTube trolls. You want to bully a 31-year-old autistic such as myself? You're pathetic. Enjoy the rest of your night, you losers. Shortly after he posted the videos, trolls used their clever, investigative techniques to figure out which bar Josh was frequenting and began calling the bar to get Josh kicked out. There is a speculation that a troll called 911 and reported that Josh was at the bar waving a gun around. A troll then began messaging the officer's Facebook page on Facebook Messenger and they confirmed that Josh was in fact kicked out and told the person to stop calling them and leave them alone. This is yet to be confirmed as real. A few hours later, Josh returned to do a short live stream and claimed nothing happened and he left the bar on his own accord. And thank you to all my trolls for supporting me on Halloween. I greatly appreciate it. And the bar went to... Super classy. The owners are good people and they know of me and they know of my videos. And I want to say thank you for supporting me on my videos. I was blasting Ozzy Osbourne on my YouTube phone, having a drink, and the people around me are like, hey, could you turn off your phone and the music so we can enjoy the football game? And I said, that's just fine. I don't want any drama here. I'm just trying to enjoy my Halloween. I busted my skin on my knuckle and it started bleeding. And I'm like, I like the taste of blood. One second. And I'm like, yes. And I pretty much sucked on my knuckle until it stopped bleeding. And the only reason I was sad is because it stopped bleeding. And because your boy Cobra likes the taste of blood. It's delicious. There's something about blood that just is so goddamn tasty. It's got a coppery sort of aftertaste. Now, for my closing remarks for this awesome Halloween video, again, thank you to my YouTube trolls for supporting my videos. But Jesus Christ himself and Satan couldn't save you from the hell you just unleashed. And I hope you all have an awesome rest of your Halloween, and I'll catch you later. To end the night, Josh joined Crystal Roberts' livestream and avoided talking about the bar. Well, I'm hearing all these rumors that you got arrested. That obviously didn't happen, right? <laughs> no, I did not get arrested. My cap gun did not get taken away. I went to the bar and I had two Cobra's candies, drink combos, and I left. It was a very pleasant Halloween evening. Somebody said that they, okay, so someone said that they called the bar and the bar confirmed that you had, that you got in trouble for... <laughs> trespassing or no whatever. that's not what i was told i wasn't told anything you know what i'm saying i don't know where the fuck people are getting these rumors but welcome to being a celebrity i guess so you you had a good time they didn't kick you out you're not banned it doesn't matter i had a good time and that's all that matters if anybody wants to spread rumors about it outside of that that's their own goddamn problem do you but you still have your cap gun because yes, i'm gonna I buy still have my fucking cap gun well, Nobody the reason, hold on, don't get, I didn't get my cap gun taken away. These fuck so I'm glad that, uh, how did you, how did you bust your knuckle? Did you punch a wall? Did you punch somebody? That'd be awesome if you punch somebody. 
I no, I didn't punch you. anyone. My knuckle was just broken and bloody from like, I punched my desk because I felt like it. For the month of October, Josh only made 65 videos due to his break at the beginning of the month. Just by adding up all of Josh's donations from his donation shoutout videos, Josh made well over $730 from his fans. Josh's fans were very eager to see what type of content would follow in the next couple of months. On November 1st, Josh created two new sweatshirts for his customized girls store. On November 3rd, during a live stream, Josh claimed that he was accosted by a Casper local who told him to leave Frosty's bar and grill alone. Now some guy was getting in my face, what was it, yesterday and telling me like, you better recognize and leave Frosty's alone. The dude's lucky I didn't kick his ass, mind you. You know what I'm saying? And uh, given the circumstances of the situation, I chose to leave that as professionally as possible. I'm like, dude, I summon demons from a Ouija board. Do you think I'm scared of some little punk ass? The dude was like, had no muscle to him. He was skinny. He had a buzz cut and these fucking thick, stupid looking glasses on. He's all shoving me. I'm like, this motherfucker, dude. You know what I'm saying? I try to avoid violence if at all possible because I'm a big dude. I could fuck some shit up with my autistic strength. And I keep that in check for a reason. You know what I'm saying? This guy was a pussy because he had three people. Or excuse me, it was just three people. There were two of them standing behind him. And I'm just like, wow, you need three people to back your ass. You need two people to back your ass up. That's pretty funny, dude. You're a pussy. Fucking pussy. I'm like, dude, you best get the fuck out of my goddamn face. You know, he's telling me you better recognize. And I was like, yeah, I recognize. I'm a famous YouTuber and you're a jealous fucking YouTube stalker. And I could see the fear in his eyes, too. It was glorious, YouTube. Yeah. You can't let people like that get to you. You really can't. And uh, I tend to get really fucking scary when I'm pissed off because I'm like one of the nicest guys you'd ever meet. And I'm usually pretty chilled out. And uh, the dude was just lucky I didn't fuck him up. Let's just leave it at that. On November 8th, Josh posted on Facebook about the passing of actor Leslie Phillips. Phillips was best known for voicing the sorting hat in the Harry Potter movies. Josh would go out to make a video outside smoking a cigarette and another video entitled Cheers. A few hours later, Josh deleted both videos because he was told the actor was a chimo and allegedly had a relationship with a 13-year-old girl. So it turns out uh, I found out some really messed up shit about uh, that celebrity I paid tribute to on YouTube who died. What was his fucking name? Leslie Phillips had a relationship with a 13 year old i'm like nope that's gross i did not falsely accuse anyone if you don't believe me look it up later someone claiming to be from california going by the name ivan was over at josh's apartment drinking mountain dew what up youtube we're hanging out with fanboy ivan now we do a drink combo see how it do fuck you trolls Can I help you? I didn't order that. Homeboy Ivan ended up getting doxxed by his own brother Jerry in the chat, and it was revealed Ivan and his family were from Casper. Ivan said his girlfriend, Melanie, was watching. On further inspection, it turned out she was subscribed to both Josh and my channel. Ivan ended up bouncing when Josh's stream froze after only being live for 30 minutes. Later on, Josh posted a new t-shirt on his customized girl storefront. Throughout the month, Josh had difficulty going live because of his internet connectivity issues. Josh attempted to go live dozens of times, only for his streams to go down around the one hour mark. In some cases, he was only able to go live for a couple of minutes. Josh would usually just delete the stream and attempt to go live yet again. On November 11th, Josh did a pathetic tribute to the late comedian Gallagher by smashing a cantaloupe instead of a watermelon, which was Gallagher's signature act. 
Josh found a way to make the video even more lacklustre by only recording the aftermath of him smashing the cantaloupe on the ground outside of his apartment building. Hey YouTube, I couldn't get any watermelon, but Gallagher passed away, so we got some cantaloupe. Yeah. On November 13th, Josh livestreamed at Angie and Walt's house, having apparently learned nothing from the last time he did so. As expected, as soon as Josh went live, Charles began calling Angie to provoke a reaction. I don't know who this Ellen chick is people keep talking about. Ellen DeGeneres? I don't know her personally, man. Dobby doesn't drink Pepsi, she drinks Mountain Dew. He said it was your homeboy, Ian. If it was Ian, he would have called me, but my phone's on Do Not Disturb. But it, it, the Ian I'm talking about is the one. It's not the Ian that comes over here. You, if you call me, you'd recognize the voice. But that's the number that it came from. Just ignore the trolls, man. There's. <laughs> I want to get my phone number. I don't know, dude. I really don't. That was, I just got a call from one of your trolls. Fuck them. And they said, would you please tell Josh quit stalking your daughter? Oh my fucking God, that's so retarded. And I just hung up. Dude, I have a legion of fangirls. I don't give a shit if Ellen dates me. Fuck off, losers. It's her loss, not mine, honestly. Oh my God. Don't you answer that. Well, don't you fucking answer that. That's who I think it is. Don't you fucking answer it. Those children are such losers. Hello? Get off my goddamn phone, dude. What's up? You're the f who can't stop sucking Cobra's dick. I live rent free in your head. Bye. I told ya. Yeah, it was a fucking troll calling to call me a... A, a fucking homophobic slur and I'm like that's real fucking talk you know what the best part about this tubes I don't have to harass my trolls this hard to get inside your on November 15th Josh spammed his social media with links to several new items on his customized girl storefront later on Josh went live he got drunk and watched a video about the drama between Ozzy Osbourne and the lead singer of Iron Maiden Bruce Dickinson Josh also admitted during this livestream that he used to kiss the Britney Spears poster he had on his wall when he used to live with his parents in 2010. Josh also drank so much that he puked on his own clothes. He would go on to wear the same t-shirt for days. I remember being a kid and I had a Britney Spears poster in my fucking room and I'd make out with it because I hadn't had my first kiss yet. <laughs> I didn't get my first kiss until I was a senior in high school, mind you. <coughs> Uh, oh, that's nice. Well, that just happened. <coughs> On November 20th, YouTuber Cheyenne Jasmine did a great impression of Josh in her video King Cobra JFS Impression. What up, tubes? It's your boy King Cobra back at you with another video. God fucking damn it! Oh fuck yeah, my new Jack Skellington mug has arrived. And it comes with a cool as fuck spoon. That's what's up, my dude. On November 24th, in a deleted livestream called I'm Sick of YouTube, Josh flip flopped on saying he hated making videos and he was only making videos for his fans. Josh also said he had gotten a strike on his channel a few days prior for self-harm on a chilling livestream. Josh speculated that the strike was because his trolls reported his videos for self-harm when he was drinking. Later on, Josh streamed again and said that the title of his new album would be At The Gates Of Hell. Josh also received a large number of donations from his fans and, surprise surprise, proceeded to spend it all on alcohol to last him a few days as the liquor store was closed on Thanksgiving. Josh bought two packs of Marlboro NXTs, one bottle of E&J Peach, one bottle of Rumhaven Coconut Flavoured Rum, one bottle of Sake, three bottles of Jack Daniels Shooters, and an 18 pack of Bud Light. For the rest of the night, Josh drank until 1am and went to bed. Earlier in the week, Josh said that he'd be spending Thanksgiving with his family at a water park in South Dakota. Josh woke up at 9 or 10am and drank most of his bottle of coconut rum. Josh said that he was saving his E&J peach for his family. 
Later on that afternoon, Josh left with his parents and his sister Sammy to travel to Cheyenne to visit his grandparents on his mother's side. On November 26th, Josh posted a video at a pizza restaurant in South Dakota called Piasano's Piccina. His father, Clint, made a rare appearance in this video, sporting a very cool and fashionable bowler hat. YouTube, we're in a top secret location. Shh. This is my dad. This Papa Cobra right there. Thank you. You spanking cheese, James? <laughs> Good for the cheese. <laughs> Did you get consent? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Tiana, don't look. Josh is making cheese. <laughs> yes, mom. Mm, I'm not going live. I'm not going live. I'm just filming a quick little food review for Please. YouTube. Joshua. Please do I know, but I don't want to. Alright. YouTube, one little slice. Oh, God, look at that. Mm hmm. You see that? So good. Later that night, Josh posted a video addressing the trolls who were texting him. He was frustrated because the trolls quickly figured out that he and his family were most likely at the Watiki Indoor Water Park Resort in South Dakota. Just want to say thank you to my trolls for watching my videos. I own you sad, miserable fuckers. Otherwise, you wouldn't care if I go live. And the fact that you got to text me that you're winning shows that you're actually losing. Josh also said in this video that his tactical soap coupon code, King Cobra, for 15% off, wasn't working on the tactical soap website. This was, however, quickly fixed, but the coupon code discount was lowered to only 10%. On November 27th, Josh finally got back home to Casper and posted pictures on Facebook from his Thanksgiving holiday at the water park and from visiting his grandparents in Cheyenne. The next day, Josh went live and did shots of sake in exchange for donations. Josh revealed that his bank account balance was roughly $279 in the negative after being charged $100 for a yearly subscription to a service called Clean Your MacBook. Josh also hilariously said that he would have sex with Ozzy Osbourne to end sickos. What a hero. It is what it is, YouTube. I did enjoy my Thanksgiving very much and went to go see my grandparents and my only remaining great-grandparent left. Ah, Jack, thank you for your $20 donation to PayPal, brother. That's what's up. This actually helps a lot because my account is in the negative and I forgot I had subscribed to this Keep Your Mac Book Clean service. They charge an annual like $100 plus dollars every year as to keep my uh, my MacBook running tip top. The curse of uh, watching porn. Fuck sickos. Adam, thank you for your $169 donation. Crunchy tacos on me. Appreciate that, man. No, but my stepmom gave me $20 for food, so I appreciate that. I'm not gay, I'm straight. But if someone was like, hey, Cobra, you gotta have sex with Ozzy Osbourne to end sickos, I would totally do it, to be honest with you. I went from being like $279 in the negative to being like only $65 in the negative. That's a huge difference. And people want to call it e-begging, but it's like, dude, you the only reason you call it e-begging is because you're struggling and you don't have the support that King Cobra has. You're a troll if you call it e-begging because you're like, you know what, it'd be nice to have what Cobra has. Josh went live the next day and thanked his fans for donating, their donations totaling roughly $200 to $300. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, plus 15. Hold up, how much is that? I can't do math off the top of my head like that. 
10 plus 15. Thank you for your $25. As soon as it goes through, we'll uh, cash it out. Like, I may be schizophrenic and, a and have Asperger's, but even I'm like, dude, stop. Later on, Josh posted a t-shirt depicting a shit that he'd taken when he was on Thanksgiving break. The design featured the text, taking a troll. Josh's shirt was not approved by Customized Girl. For the rest of the month, Josh rambled about Kanye West being racist. November was quite uneventful compared to the rest of the year. Despite having made over $1,300 in donations, Josh still managed to overspend to nobody's surprise and his bank account plummeted into the negative multiple times a week throughout the month. Even after becoming $280 in the hole, Josh was once again bailed out by the charity of strangers, absolving him of facing any type of consequences of his horrible spending habits and allowing him to keep making amazing content such as drinking to the point of vomiting on himself. Uh. On December 1st, Josh uploaded a ton of merch onto his customized girl storefront. On December 3rd, Josh celebrated Ozzy Osbourne's 74th birthday by smoking weed and doing other drugs at Angie's house. It's Ozzy Osbourne's fucking birthday, so let's all get wasted and celebrate. I literally just slammed two 99 proof banana shots. Well, I poured one of them into my drink and then shot the other one down my throat. Look at that. Yes. I'll be celebrating all day, of course. See those Ozzy knuckles? I want y'all to get fucking wasted. It's Ozzy's birthday, man. Celebrate that shit. Yeah. Josh continued the party by going live twice when he got back to his apartment and rambled about Ozzy for a combined four hours. The most notable moment of Josh's livestream was that he huffed cologne whilst doing vocal covers. In Josh's second stream, Josh mentioned a minor debt that he had taken care of. This could have been a reference to his late fee for his rent. I had some minor debt issues that I got squared away off camera peacefully, and it went as smoothly as it could have gone. Both parties involved, apart from myself, were like, hey man, chill out, we got it resolved. And I'm like, sweet. I got a major debt situation resolved super quickly. No, it just feels like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders. Christmas will be a lot easier to make happen. That's all I'm saying. Huh. On December 5th, Josh failed the death nut challenge that he did exclusively for his Patreon subscribers. Oh, I farted, excuse me. Anyways, we have the uh, all-new uh, Death Nut version 3.0 challenge. So we'll start off with level one. It's a mild peanut. <laughs> That's mild. Nope. <coughs> Fuck me, that's spicy. No, I don't think I can get. I don't think I can get, get through the rest of these, man. Ah, fuck. Ow. Holy fuck, that's spicy. Heat level number two. Ow. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah! <clears throat> no, number two, I like the taste of number two. It's got like a mango-y sort of taste. Ugh. My stomach's already starting to hurt, too. No, I can't, dude. I'm sorry. 
On December 10th, in a live stream, Josh got caught in an autistic loop describing the perfect way to make nachos for 45 minutes straight. Now I might make a dang plate of nachos because it's the weekend and because my fans are awesome. Fucking retard that I am. Fucking useless piece of shit. Now, of course, I have to make a fucking mess while making these goddamn fucking nachos. <sighs> Shocker, the retard can't fucking work a microwave. Holy shit. No, weekend nachos. Oh, joy. Go Cobra. Step one, you add... A very small layer of chips. Like, okay, the top and layer is your nachos. It's got all the ingredients. With the bottom the layer of ingredients for your nachos. And and step two and three is repeat. And then you, you do a second layer of nachos. nachos. What sucks about eating okay. Later on, Josh went live again and spoke about the five year anniversary of the passing of YouTuber Angry Grandpa and also being dumped by his ex girlfriend Summer. Five years since Angry Grandpa passed away, which means it's been officially five years since I broke up with Summer. Kids are precious. Stop calling them cute. And fuck sickos. Stop calling your boyfriend, girlfriend, baby, or this and that. And call them anything else. Sugar cakes, babe, bae. I'm serious. This is the kind of inclusive language that encourages sicko shit. I'm serious. If pedophilia is gross, stop calling kids cute. I call kids precious because they are. Kids are more precious than life itself. That's our future, man. Kids are more precious than rock and roll, to be honest. I feel like when you eat food or drink alcohol or consume beverages, once that food has been consumed, it becomes available in the afterlife. That's what I believe. So right now, Angry Grandpa's probably trying one of my Angry Grandpa drink combos. Because I drank one on camera. Even if it was off camera, the act of consuming it in the alive world, it becomes a ghost drink combo on the other side kind of thing. So like, okay, if I drink this right now, straight to the dome, ghosts on the other side can drink it now because it has been created into reality. On December 12th, sad news swept the Cobraverse. Cool Taste YouTube channel got shut down, but he made a new one called Cool Taste Redo. On December 13th, Josh finally finished his new album, At the Gates of Hell. So I've been working all day on my album and I finally got it done. So the songs in order are Broken Hearts in the Rain, Liquid Sunshine, Never Gonna Slow Me Down, At the Gates of Hell, Cocaine Cobra, and the very last song, When the Crows and the Ravens Go Flying. So happy holidays, your boy Cobra delivered on his promise. I got the album done. I got it sent off to Deathbed Tapes. We're getting it finalized as we speak. Deathbed's probably asleep right now, so he'll probably be dealing with that tomorrow. Appreciate that. I did get a beer to celebrate. I had two beers of this can size earlier, and that's it. So this will be like my third beer today. On December 14th, in a Facebook post, Josh said that his album wouldn't be released until after Christmas, dashing the plans of making around $200-$300 dollars from Deathbed Tapes. Even with the sad news, Josh pulled his finger out and started making lathed ones in effort to buy more alcohol- oh sorry, I mean Christmas presents for his family. Josh would end up going back and editing this post and saying that he'd be making new ones and was looking forward to spending Christmas with his family. On December 15th, Josh got completely trashed and huffed cologne and did 30 vocal covers before his internet began dropping in and out.
the good liquid has got me feeling good. So I'm totally gonna clean some beetles. After I toot this for a second. That's the stuff. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. On December 16th, Josh again attempted to eat spicy nuts and failed the challenge after talking about how spicy the nuts were for about 20 minutes. Ah. Ah. Swallow it. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> I swallowed it barely. I'm going to ride the heat wave on stream. <laughs> I'll be fine. <laughs> Oh, fuck me. Later on, Josh thanked Deathbed Tapes for a $150 advance on his album sales. This meant that Josh could afford to buy Christmas presents for his dad and his friend Darth Lenny. I want to give a shout out to Alex Ford who gave me a... Uh, he, he let me a little bit of... He, he gave me a little bit of money for the album. Like, so I could buy some Christmas presents, and I definitely took care of that. Freaking sweet. Later on, Josh said that he'd be going to his friend Keith McConnell's 53rd birthday. Keith is a mutual friend of Angie's. Josh also said he bought some Christmas presents with Deathbed Tapes' $150 advance. I got a birthday party to go to later on at uh, towards 1 o'clock. It's for my buddy... Uh... My buddy Keith. Well, I might bring some booze to Keith's birthday party if I can get some funds for that. The deathbed tapes advance went to buying Christmas presents. So yes, it's already gone. <laughs> it's not e-begging. I'm not sitting here saying you have to donate. I'm saying you can if you want to. There's a difference. Dude, Ozzy Osbourne and Sharon are going to live a long and healthy, happy life. You're so fucking pathetic. It's not even funny. All those mean things you're saying about me just shows that those are what you are and you're insecure with who you are as a person. Sharon Osborne has been rushed to the hospital after suffering a medical emergency. Well, that sucks. People are telling me about this and usually I get troll crap like this all the time, to be honest. A circle protection for Sharon and Ozzy Osbourne so much to be in the witch's circle. I'm sending Sharon blessings, man. That's that's Ozzy's op. That's Ozzy Osbourne's goddess. That's his queen, his bae. No, dude. Not like this. Sharon Osbourne's not gonna die for a long time. You're a f*** because you won't stop sucking Cobra's dick. Why don't you kill yourself, troll? On December 17th, Josh liked some fan art that was sent to him on Facebook. On December 19th, out of nowhere, Josh sold two lathe wands on Etsy after saying he'd be busting his ass to make as many wands as he could to pay for Christmas presents. I guess that just means only two. On December 20th, Josh posted a fan-made photoshopped image on Facebook of him enjoying some afternoon tea with his idol, Ozzy Osbourne. On December 21st, Josh was sent a troll care package which included some Dr. Squatch's soap, a sippy cup, lots of treats, and a sick brand new hat. A glitter bomb card was also included, but Josh outsmarted the prankster by realizing it before he opened it. Nice try, trolls. So I got a, a couple care packages here. Let's see what Laura and Anna got me. Yes. Long live Ozzy, motherfucker! A movie, what do we got here? The Craft. Ooh, sweet, I'll add it to my collection of goodies. A pentagram ring, check that out. Very satanic, I love it. Long live Ozzy and Hail Satan. 
They sent me an eyeliner pen to check out. We'll check that out here in a second. Appreciate that. Christmas came early. Oh, geez. More junk. More junk food. Ha. <laughs> Oh, oh, I love my fans, but, ew, oh, God, it smells, uh, Dr. Squatch, no, the fuck is this, the fuck is this, soft spout cup, yeah, I don't, this is, this is weird, I don't, <laughs> fucking guys are silly, I don't need that. I got plenty of cups, thank you. Oh, hey, look who we got. Some Crown Royal. Now we're cooking. Whoa, Inspector Blue Or, thank you for your donations to PayPal and Cash App and also for your care package. I definitely enjoyed it. This must be the uh, card he's talking about, YouTube. <laughs> That's too fucking great. Boy, they really sealed this card up tight, dude. They added me to the front of it. That's too fucking funny. It is legitimately... Oh, it's a glitter bomb. Oh, ha, ha, ha. You got me, guys. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I went to go open it, and it's like... I should have known it was a troll package because they sent me the the uh, the baby cup. The trolls are always calling me a baby and shit. So that's hilarious. I went to go open it, and it's like... Oh, a little glitter bomb. <laughs> Yeah, you can go fuck yourself, but thank you for your troll package. I should have known it was a fucking troll package. They're thinking to themselves, oh, Cobra won't suspect a thing because we gave him alcohol and cigarettes. On December 23rd, Josh unboxed Christmas presents he bought for his friends and family. So what do we have here? This first one is, but check that out, YouTube. You cannot tell me that's not freaking seriously badass. Fucking beautiful YouTube. Oh, oh, YouTube. Look at that. Isn't that just fucking pretty? So I'm happy with that. Good looking knife right there. Now this one I got for my dad. I will say that. This is one I had custom made for my dad. And right there on the blade, look at that. It says, to dad love Josh. Personally engraved for the holidays. That is a good-looking knife, dude. I like that. Beautiful. Beautiful YouTube. Josh had spent $92.96 on shitty knives from BudK.com, the same website where Josh bought Ellen the Purple Samurai Sword for $177.98 back in early January of this year. On December 24th, Christmas Eve, Josh posted the following message on Facebook. I'm making changes in my life to better myself. The two things I'm doing is drinking a lot less and seeking counselling for my mental issues. I admit I have a problem with booze and I need to control that so you're not going to see me drink on camera very often and when I do it's going to be in moderation instead of excess. To all my friends and family and fans, happy holidays. Thank you to my awesome family for being patient with me. A few of Josh's friends and family replied to this post, such as Mildred, homeboy Scotty's mum, Angie, Clint, and Tiana, Josh's sister. Josh's grandmother Sandra also left a heartfelt comment on this post. Josh said that he loved his grandparents and that he wanted to buy his granddad some tactical soap so he could fuck his grandmother all night long. A little later, Josh went to his parents' house and posted pictures on Facebook of his dinner. At 11pm, less than 24 hours after posting on Facebook that he needed a cut down on his drinking, Josh bragged about having a small glass of whiskey at his parents' house. On December 26th, Josh briefly mentioned during a food review that he had a life-changing event happen, but didn't divulge any additional information. Now, I've been depressed the last couple of days because of my actions, but I'm working on it, YouTube. I posted a post on Facebook that said I was going to drink less and work on myself, and I meant it. 
I had a pretty good Christmas, all things considered. I had a life-changing event happen to me on Friday. And uh, we'll discuss that when the time's appropriate. On December 27th, Josh was discussed on comedian Danny Brown's podcast. Um, before I get you out of here, man, I got to, um, you do know um, about the, um, the sexy gothic bad boy, King Cobra. What? This my boy, King Cobra. Hi. JFS. Um, so yeah, man, King Cobra, he started, he started YouTube, I want to say about, about 2011. He met his first girlfriend in Job Corps. Oh, cool. Which he lost his virginity to her in the bathroom. Nice. The same day. He got back home, you know, his dad told him. He actually, he, he's from um, Casper, Wyoming. Okay. Um, 13. I've been following this guy for a long time. I actually love King That's the difference. I hate you, motherfucker. Fuck you, Cyrax. <laughs> and we love King Cobra. I'm saying all this because this weekend, we actually, we're getting close to making these mother... I want to have a boxing match between King Cobra <gasps> and Cyrax. And he's drunk as fuck all the time. He's make these dank-ass drink combos. Oh. Like, he just combine anything. He'll put Mountain Dew with Budweiser and be like, oh, oh. drink combo, fire. You know, and he makes these videos. But I'm saying all this to say is what has happened is now, um, you know, we, we, we watch his life deteriorate at mm. a very <laughs> fast pace because now pretty much the internet takes care of him now. So mm -hmm. all you got to do is go because we want to see the funniest shit you know, he he provides us with all this content. Yes, and man. we so love we him. Look, so we order, we send them food. Good from Uber Eats all the time. We order them food all the Good. time. But it's going to be content. Like if you can go to um, you okay, can, and um, recently they sent him a Subway sauce sandwich. That's the thing. He's not going to turn nothing down. <laughs> if you sent him something, no matter what it is, he's going to eat it because he's like, it. I can't just let food go to waste. Mm -hmm. So they sent him a Subway sandwich with every sauce, oh. no meat. What? No vegetables. No nothing. <laughs> just every sauce. Yeah, dude. Oh, here it go. Ugh. Look, it was some red wine vinegar. <laughs> yellow mustard. Honey mustard sauce. Creamy sriracha. Ugh. Buffalo sauce. <laughs> Sweet teriyaki. Peppercorn and ranch sauce. And some chipotle sauce. And, uh, yeah. And he ate it? Oh, check it out. Can we see it? Let's check it out. Fucking sauce, <laughs> <laughs> I love this. <laughs> so yeah, babe, mommy, that's uh, King Cobra right this. there. Man. We in a new arc now. Uh, not too long ago, he was sniffing cologne. Oh, which I didn't know you can get high on Wait sniffing a cologne. This is a whole. I've never even heard of such like a he thing. He snip. He put in a whole nozzle. Like he taking a pop in the cap. What? We can, we can, we can, we can, <laughs> you can do that to get high. <laughs> yeah. So wow. this this where we like. Oh, Boglum is getting too far. I believe he, he used to smoke spice because his timing is a little off. He's a little... I learned about spice. So look at him. Check him out. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're a set the gothic bath boy. I mean, um, he does have really terrible hygiene, though. That's the only thing about mm -hmm. him. That's what made me freaked out that he had a bottle of cologne. Because he never really um, washes his ass and that. If, if you can Google his teeth, check a look at his teeth. Mm. King Cobra teeth is um, some, it's a sight to see as well. But um, yeah, so he just wears this technical soap. Technical soap? Tactical soap oh, that, that released pheromones. I think it was oh, really supposed to use no. for hunting. Well, let me tell you, if you want a girlfriend, you have to take showers. But he says it gets from the ladies. No way. All right, man. We about to be up Bullshit. out of here, man. Because uh, I know you said you like goth shit. So I like, do. You got to know about the sexy gothic bad boy. He's I'm looking gonna... for an up-age cisgender woman. And he hates <laughs> any perv. He hates any PDF files. Any PDF files? PDF files. PDF files. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Well, I'm going to check him out. I'm going to send him some love. Send yeah, him some he sandwiches. makes dank-ass music, too. Cool. His cooking tutorials. Drink Amazed. combos. King Cobra's a lifestyle, man. But, oh, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> a lifestyle. Later, Laramie County posts on their website that Josh was arrested between the 23rd and the 27th. This was the life-changing event that Josh was referring to in his video the previous day and would explain why he posted on Facebook about getting help and cutting down on drinking. Josh went live that night and addressed the arrest and said it was true and recounted his experience in the clink. It's this guy! I did get arrested in Cheyenne and honestly that was my wake up call nothing really happened when I was in prison I was pretty much in a drunk tank in a holding cell by myself for the entire night and then for half of Saturday 
they let me out of the jail without having to pay a bond. And the cop that arrested me was super patient, so I appreciate that. Uh, but honestly, that was my wake-up call to cut down on my drinking, you know? Yesterday, I had two tall cans of Bud Light and a half pint of Jack Daniels, not gonna lie. But today, I bought one tall can of Bud Light. I bought it this morning, and I have not touched it or opened it. I was waiting until after 5 o'clock to have it because I am going to cut down on my drinking. Now that's after 5 o'clock and I haven't had a drink all day, let's get into it. I don't even remember what the fuck I did, to be honest. All I can remember was getting out of my dad's van in Cheyenne at a loafing jug and just to stretch my legs and smoke a cigarette from traveling in the car. Next thing you know, I'm in jail. And when my dad told me what the fuck I did, I felt like the biggest piece of shit. I got all of my stuff back except for my pipe tobacco and my magic wand. And when I got out of uh, jail, there was a bell tower down the street going off on Saturday. And then a bunch of crows and a raven were flying over my head. It was majestic, to say the least. So the, the two things I'm going to do in my life, YouTube, to better myself is to slow down on my drinking and uh, to seek some therapy. Even though therapy is a waste of time, I'm far too intelligent for that shit. I don't need a therapist to know why I'm depressed, you know? I'm not going to go into reasons why I'm depressed on YouTube. That's just none of y'all's business. And normally when I drink or get drunk and I black out, I don't get aggressive or violent or angry or belligerent. Normally I just stumble around and pass out. You know what I'm saying? That's only happened like twice in the last couple of months. And it's not a good look, you know? So I am making a solid effort here to drink less. In fact, on Sunday at Christmas dinner, when I had it with my family here in town, a family friend brought over some delicious scotch. I'm not going to give his name, but I proved to my dad, if you want to count my drinks that I had at Christmas dinner on Sunday, I literally had two. That was it. I had a Jack and Coke, and then I had a small taste of the scotch that he, that he brought over. And that was it, you know? And my dad's words, hey, man, that took real real strength. I'm proud of you, Josh. You know what pisses me off about alcoholism is people's attitudes towards it. They treat you like, you know, and, oh, you're helpless. You're powerless to do anything, you know, instead of being like, that's a negative reinforcement, people. Now, I'm not going to stop drinking or doing drink combos because that's what I do. People on YouTube love my drink combos. However, you're not going to see it as much. I'm not cutting down on alcohol for anyone but myself and for my family and my fans who care about me. And honestly, fuck the trolls. Y'all's obsession with me is more unhealthy than my drinking. Now, when I went, into, uh, when I went to prison, they pretty much took everything. I can always get more pipe tobacco, so I'm not worried about that. When I asked the cop about it, he said, well, you might have lost it when you were at Loafing Jug or whatever. But when I asked my dad about it, he said, well, the cops took it, and it's probably in the uh, police department vault somewhere. It is what it is. Uh, but honestly, going to jail was honestly a wake-up call for me, you know? Because at first, I didn't realize what the fuck I did. And then when I was talking to my dad on the phone in jail... There was this dude across from me on the other side of the hallway just telling me to shut up and just trying to, as hard as he can to start shit with me. I pretty much told him to fuck off. You know, this dude was saying, you look like a sex offender and you have no friends. And then I told him, I says, your mom's a sex offender. And then I told him, I said, dude, I'm a famous YouTuber with almost 50,000 subscribers. I got more friends than you'll ever have. And on top of that, I'd already had my clothes on, my hats, and I was getting the fuck out of there. So I wasn't going to do shit to make me have to stay any longer. As far as I was concerned, I'm like, fuck you, asshole. I'm getting out of here. So you have fun being in the, in the tank. And nobody really fucked with me physically. You know what I'm saying? Because I wouldn't have let it happen. And uh, 
And what did I do to entertain myself? Seems how I didn't have technology. I pretty much fucked with people. There was this other dude across the across the hall from me. And I kept on doing shit like, hello, Clarice. And then telling obnoxious Christmas jokes as loud as I could just to make the police officers laugh their asses off. You know, dumb shit like that. And they would not let me out until I blew complete zeros. Which, you know, it is what it is. But honestly, I feel like a, a piece of shit for what I did. I said some really hurtful things. I'm not going to get into detail what got me there. But it was so bad, like I was stumbling around the loaf and jug parking lots. And I blacked out and didn't even realize what I was doing. And freaking people were trying to get gas. And they were honking their horn telling me to get the fuck out of the way. And my dad kept on telling me, Josh, calm down. Josh, calm down. He said it was surreal watching it. The only reason why I didn't talk... Or, like, the only reason why I didn't kick the fuck out of the asshole who was talking shit on me in prison is because all the cops were standing there watching me. And that douchebag was safely locked up in a uh, holding tank. Because if he wasn't, yeah. But no, I'm not going to stop drinking. But I am going to make a solid effort to slow down. And uh, I proved to my dad that I can, you know. No, I shouldn't have to cut down on my drinking because everyone in my family fucking drinks and it's kind of hypocritical, but there's a big difference between, you know what I'm saying, getting blackout drunk versus you only having like a, like a couple of drinks, you know? So I acknowledge that and my, I'm not going to blame everyone else for my problems, you know? I'm not. I do appreciate y'all watching the video and I'll catch you later. Later on, Josh went on to Crystal Roberts' stream and spoke a little bit more about the arrest. How you doing, Crystal? It was a drunken public, right? That's what you got? The drunken public? Yeah, yeah, public and talks. Did you get a fine? Like, do you have a court date? I know I asked you that before, but... Uh, I don't even know at this point, to be honest. If I do, it is what it is. I don't worry about it. If it we'll worry about that if it happens, if it happens. Yeah. Honestly, I didn't mean to cause any trouble. I feel like an absolute douchebag for doing that to people. Well, nothing triggered me. I think I was just assuming the worst before it happened kind of thing, and I felt like a piece of shit for doing it. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what triggered it, to be honest. Nothing really triggered it. Are you worried about, like, if, like the body cam footage and the trolls and getting a hold of that? Because that happened Not to me, really, and that because sucked. I'm trying that hard to fuck with me. It shows you that they're more obsessed with me than I am with drinking, and that's unhealthy. I think people it's, are still wanting me to do the drink combos, and I'm like, yeah, you know what? I'm not going to stop doing that because that's entertaining for the fans. My mixology skills are amazing, in my personal opinion, but that's neither here nor there. So you're you and your dad are good then, right? As good as we can be for now, yeah. So I feel like an absolute fucking cunt to be true. Did he? Was it? Is it true? And you can tell me yes or no. You can tell me to shut up if you want. Was it true that your dad you had a physical altercation with him, and he choked you? No. Okay. I'd rather not discuss it. I feel like an ass about doing it. I'm trying to better myself and move on from it. Yeah, huffing cologne does get you high, but it's a stupid way to get high, to be honest. What, what does Cobes think about going to an early grave? Yeah, Josh, that's one of the concerns I had. You're. I'm not going to an early fucking grave, man. You're not feeling like you don't feel any like your liver might be. Um... Yeah. It seems like you're trying, you're like really self-medicating at this point. Do you think that's like a thing? No, not really, to be honest. So it's like you're not like because super- Because I go through periods where I don't drink as much. I've seen me go through like waves. All of you guys have a great night. Well, it works. Bye. Josh capped off his night of sobriety by ordering more alcohol and making a sweet drink combo video. Got ourselves a drink combo now. In an effort to cut back on drinking, if I do a drink combo video, I only have one instead of doing it several at a time. So it's more about tasting it than it is about getting a buzz off of it. <sighs> oh, that is fucking good. On December 29th, Josh went live after noticing I was live streaming. Josh wasn't very happy with me, and said that I was slandering his good name. 
Josh also said that he was attempting to steal the viewers watching my stream. Sadly, Josh wasn't very successful and only made more of his viewers switch over to my stream. So Bite Science is talking shit about you right now on YouTube. Yeah, I don't care. You know, I had three beers earlier. Do you see me drinking right now? Even if I had alcohol, I wouldn't be drinking it. Honestly, I don't feel like drinking right now. I don't care. Bite Size Cobra's unhealthy obsession with me is more unhealthy than my drinking. And what's funny is I can slow down on my drinking, but my trolls can't slow down on me, and that's the truth. And honestly, I should thank you fuckers, because you're making me more famous. Oh, I'm aware that Bite Size Cobra videos is going live and talking shit. That's why I went live, to steal the views back. So if you're a true Cobra fan, you'll watch me go live. And pretty much I'm just ignoring it. And I like how I get called an e-beggar when I'm sitting here saying, hey, if you can't donate, your view is just as equally as appreciated. But if you can donate even a dollar, it's appreciated. Versus, I want to steal Cobra's content, steal all of his donations. If anyone's an e-beggar, it's bite-sized Cobra videos. He's begging for clout by stealing my shit. I'm more popular than he is. The fuck bite-sized videos. Could you imagine if I stole one of Ozzy Osbourne's songs, talked a bunch of shit on it, and then claimed the song was mine? Because that's basically what Bite Size Cobra Videos is doing. He's stealing my content, talking shit on me, and then trying to claim it's original because it's just a, uh, what do they call it? A restream channel, you know, a copycat Cobra channel. It, it's stupid. If you want to steal my content for your own channel, fine. At the end of the day, you're giving me more exposure. You're giving me more views. But then you want to go and slander my name and slander people I know. Drag people I know through the mud and the muck. You don't know the whole story. You just want, you just want some of that Cobra clout. You know what I'm saying? Bite-sized Cobra videos is no different than Stephanie talking about me on her channel. People just want what, what I have. And they couldn't handle the harassment or attention I get. Nicholas, thank you for your two dollars for bite size. Is calling you a sicko with fake proof? Yeah, that is such bullshit, dude. Everyone knows I fucking hate sickos more than I love Ozzy Osbourne. My troll's obsession with me being one just honestly makes them look like one. Says the guy who steals my content, lies about me and my friends, and then fucking tries to claim it as fact. It's just basically when you walk into a, a grocery store. And you see a, the cover of a magazine that says Hillary Clinton's a lizard person, you know. It's just dumb slander, dude. So fucking ignore bite size Cobra videos. Just ignore that prat. He lives in the fucking UK and the United Kingdom has laws against online bullying, by the way. John, thank you for your $5 donation for bro. Bitch size is showing baby pics of you. What the fuck? Yeah, that's a bit weird, bite size Cobra. Y'all sending, wow, the man calling me a sicko on his stupid copycat channel is showing pictures of me as a baby. Weird. I think Bicep's Cobra is a sicko. On December 30th, Josh went live and poured himself a cup full of Jack Daniels and dark cherry soda for a drink combo, stating he was only going to have one and was saving the rest of his alcohol for another time. Josh's stream once again ended due to his bad internet connection, and when Josh returned, he was incredibly drunk. I do have a uh, new drink combo to debut tonight. I'm only going to have like one or two because I want to save the rest for tomorrow, as tomorrow is New Year's Eve. I did have one off camera, and it is delicious. As you can already tell, this uh, drink combo consists of the lovely Jack Daniels. I tried to get a bottle of monkey shoulders. It is what it is, YouTube. Okay, that's not stiff enough. There we go. A little bit more. Yeah, that's stuff. Ah, Jack Daniels, helping ugly girls look attractive since the 1800s. The last live stream come, man. Dig it. It is what it is. The only thing that's real. Shake it, Frosty, man. Later on that night, 
Josh's arrest records were posted on the King Cobra JFS subreddit. Please note the document has been edited by the police department to protect personal information. I will summarize the report. Despite previous speculation that the arrest happened at a residence due to the address being redacted on the Wyoming News website, the arrest did in fact happen at a gas station called The Loaf and Jug, exactly where Josh said. The report stated that Clint called the police and said that Josh was drunk and was causing a disturbance after drinking a bottle of hard liquor in the car. Clint said that Josh made several suicidal and homicidal statements resulting in Clint not feeling safe. When an officer arrived, Josh told the police officer that he didn't want to harm himself or anyone else and said he didn't make those comments. The officer suggested that Josh be taken to the ARC, Acute Rehabilitation Center, so that Josh could sober up. Clint agreed and left Josh with the officer. Sadly, the officer learned that the ARC wasn't accepting any new intakes because of the heating problem in the building. The officer instead suggested that Josh be taken to the hospital for an evaluation or he could spend the night in a shelter. Josh refused both of these options. The police officer had no choice but to arrest Josh for public intoxication. Josh was then taken to the Laramie County Detention Center and Clint was notified. On December 31st, alternative model Danny Devine made a personalized video for Josh, most likely purchased by a troll. I wonder who that was. Hi Josh, this is Danny Devine here. First of all, please go take a shower. It's disgusting that you don't shower enough and brush your fucking teeth. That is really, really gross. Also, I think it's kind of lame that you need your dad to bail you out of things. You're a grown man now, so it's time to cut that shit out. And the hair, maybe you just need to wear a hat because no one wants to see that. <laughs> hope you enjoyed this video just for you and hope you like the latex outfit uh sorry it's a bit late but i have been on tour right now i am in the u.s uh so this message comes to you all the way from hollywood Mwah! lots of love later on that night josh drunkenly ate bacon wrapped shrimp he said he'd be going live for new year's but he didn't is fucking exquisite Hmm. That was some good eats. Twenty twenty two was a wild year for King Cobra JFS, and we've had front row seats to watch his life fall further out of his control. From his financial irresponsibility and his shrinking social circle to his growing alcohol addiction, twenty twenty two brought some of the darkest moments in the Cobraverse. Josh's problem with drinking was a worrying focal point of this year, and nobody could have predicted that it would culminate in the way it did with his arrest. Will Josh turn his life around and seek help as he promised? Only time will tell.